Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Dungeon Stars Plays D&D &D for our improv campaign. Oh, somebody's moving in and out. Good talk, good talk. Okay. It's uh, not actually the improv though, is it? Well, we were about to play a like improv improv campaign because people weren't uh weren't here. What is going on with people? No, it's it's just Vega. It might, might be his connection. Oh. Like he can't hear people, or then we can't hear him. He's probably you might want to restart like refreshing instead of leaving. Yeah, out, maybe. But he's just like trying trying to reconnect. Yeah. Oh, yep. I'm... Why did I get mentioned twice? Wait, we oh, can't yeah. start the session yet. Same. What? Well, well, I guess we can. I mean, we can like start the introductions and stuff, but we yeah. can't stop playing that. Well, I'm gonna need something. To yeah, happen. I'm gonna do like the introductions while we seeing if he gets straightened out. But uh, welcome back, guys. My name is Toucan. I'm gonna be DMing tonight. Um, <coughs> no news. Uh, actually, never mind. There is news. Uh, Thursday this week, we might do a Pokemon Crystal Run because we missed. Uh, Tuesday because of uh, some scheduling issues, but uh, you know that's that's all cool. No rush on doing. It. Uh, sorry if anybody was interested in that, and uh, we weren't able to, you know, come through with that. But we'll, we'll make it up later this week. Yeah, we're gonna get things done this Thursday, definitely. Oh God, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, Thank we're you. gonna give oh, to the first gym. Just... <laughs> that was so delayed, Falu. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to you speak over so to you. Long. You're so polite. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you waited for Tukan to finish before you blessed the person who sneezed. Okay. And um, other than that, I think that's all the upcoming news, at least. Um, but it's good to have everybody. Uh, you guys can start introductions from the top. Uh, Mr. Lorfren. Uh, oh yeah, I'm booming and I'm playing Lorcan. Um, I'm a high elf bard. Um, and uh, currently I am Jay Chillin in Cedar Rapids. And yeah, that's that. So, um, next person. Hey, I'm Sam 13. I play a name ranger called Single Nugget. A lot of weird stuff has happened to him lately, especially in the last one where he basically was drunk and slightly crazy. Almost ran the party into a volcano. Bless okay. you, um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, follow, um, follow. Hello, I am Falu. I will be role playing Mimi Dank, the barbarian dwarf, no longer covered in vines, although excited to have a uh, T Rex strapped into the God of Death's ship. Oh no, you guys dropped it off on mm. the island, to follow. Oh no, it did, god damn it. And also, I have very bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> so before I, uh, hey. I drop any more false information, Big guy, take it away. I was gonna ask if he's there, or if he can talk. This nigga is here. I'm okay, here. He's here. Yeah, I think he can. Uh, uh so can you right. refrain from that profanity, please? All right, my, I apologize Wait, I for my I, I apologize for my ruthlessness. But well, you can't hear me when we say it I again. Hear you. All right, it's time for it's time for the daily shoutouts. Here's the news. Little Chuck is getting a promotion. <laughs> He is getting a subscription from I, Dr. Vega Park. <laughs> Here today, you about to get that subscription from Gavel. Service. Shout out to Lil Check here, everybody. Shout out to Lil Check. Damn. Shout out to Slub. Shout out to uh out to Blue Lily. You get on my nerves. Shout out to <laughs> Two Connors, Two Connors. Shout out to Potato Nators, Potato Nators. Shout out to Ula Da Ula Da Da. Shout out to Ula Da Ula Da Da Follow Da Com. Shout out to Samwise McGee for turning that okay, big on twenty four. What's up? But yes, I'm your. Uh, yes, it's me, Doctor Vega Park. I am yeah, the controller of Gavel Zervin, who has life issues. Next person. 
Oh, shout out to Loyal, by the way. Looking good as usual with them cakes. I'm but... sorry, um, I, I missed that. I missed that. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, no. could, could you say that again? I, I, uh, I missed the second part. The most emphatic of wizards, Gavelt Zervin. Loyal Wolf, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, I just introduced you, so yeah. Mm -hmm. We can come straight to yes, the chat. Loyal. Uh... Do, do I get to go yeah. or yeah. No, no, bro. Just, no, just snore, just snore and uh, Bless you. we'll move on. Right. Um, I'm Loyal Wolf. Okay. I am playing Hideki. Uh, I'm currently taking a test, so I'm going to what that. So next, he's, he's... the test of Dungeons and Dragons. You mean correct? It's a actually test. a test to discern how sassy he is. A... Yes. I thought it was a test to see what Hogwarts house he belongs to. What? Nah, he's definitely going to fucking uh, Slytherin. Oh, I was gonna say Hufflepuff. What? No, he's a muggle. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god. And with that, I'm Small Patat. I play Baloney Crisis. He's a human bard. Yeah, no ooh la la. Uh, ooh la la. <laughs> no. It's okay. <laughs> yes. How about you take a look? Sorry to break immersion real quick. How about you take a look in the Joy Boy server real quick for me? Wait. It, no, no. Wait, what? Look where? Nanny. Joy Boy server on the on the rolls side of the. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Fuck, I gotta give him a damn mask now. <laughs> yes. God damn it. I made it happen. Oh, oh and I got the Blood Gods title. Yeah, Let's go. They need to move that to the top, though. Like, we gotta oh. have Blood Gods up front. Wait. That's but, okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. All right, guys, um, we're just happy about our uh, Blunt Gods uh, <laughs> title. You don't condone smoking, though. No, we we obviously just smoke in legal states. Remember, little smoke check. If you out there, if you listen, little check. Don't you be drinking. Teen drinking is bad, little check. Wait. If you smoking, get the belt. I don't you understand me? Check is a, okay, is I was about to say you were the most supportive of wizards, but I take that back. <laughs> we take that back. Teen drinking is back. very bad. All right. Okay. Uh, well, on that note, hello, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. My name is Schlubs, a.k.a. StrudelKitty4427, a.k.a. Toucan Sam. Yes, that's Ooh. right. We are, in fact, sponsored by no. Fruit Loops. No, you are listening to Toucan Radio. <laughs> we are Jet Set Toucan Radio up in here. Get hyped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to have to remember to put in the video description we are not sponsored mm. by Kellogg's in any form. <laughs> Yo, Shofu! Yo, Shofu, you're gonna fight you, my boy! Why Stop are you shouting out Shofu right now? Alright, alright, so... Let's start this More, thing. Yeah, you guys More are people. on your way back to Already? the... Yeah, to the uh, God of Death's little, like, ocean area. And you're, uh... Bringing his mother back, and everybody's on the ship. What? You guys are in the portal right now, what are you guys doing? Let me grab my list. We're not gonna follow this right now, since... There's less people. But if it gets kind of chaotic, I'll I'll bring it back out. But like uh Like I want to do Well, this I mean, thing. we have seven people here. Yeah. That's like uh We're missing our two uh troublemakers. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Shout out to Frast and Goat who could not make it this session. Uh I don't know what is there to do. Actually, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say everybody roll me a sleight of hand check. Oh no! So Perfect. Gonna, yeah, you guys like land in the water, and I want to see like how well you clean up this this stuff. That maybe he won't notice that the boat was moved. Um. No. At thirteen. All right. Mimi Dank, 13. That's not bad. We're, I'm going, I'm using the whole team together, so we'll see. Let's go. Okay. 14. Oh, I'm about to get a two. God. I'm about to get a two. Or, I mean, why, why, do you have to, why do you have to drag the average down? Oh, damn it. 
And then, the, and then there's Gavelt. I know. I'm about to get it too. Watch. <laughs> no. Oh. oh no no better bad. than two. Nine. It doesn't matter. It's still trash. All so right. anyway, I'm about to get a trash roll. Because I'll get a trash roll. Uh, Hideki, you, you want to roll a sleight of hand for me? Or... Oh, yes. Hey, Bear. I'm looking for my team sheet real quick to see if I have a modifier. Oh, you should, since you're a rogue. That's... Yeah. I'm All ready. right, got it. You should. 15. Oh, 15. Oh, Ooh, nice. Okay. Schlub, schlub's left. Or a strudel kitty, rather. Yep. Let me see. I'm going to roll for... A roll, roll. Oh, it's plus three. Holy. Okay, this is going to be hard to beat. It's It's... Pretty much on you, Strudel Kitty, right now. Maracucha, man, you're really gonna put that much pressure on me like, right now. Like, I'm gonna, I'm giving you all my mom. luck right now. Holy oh, fuck, he did oh. it! Oh my God. Damn, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> yeah, you guys hid everything. Unless Even Todd's actively looking for crap, he's not gonna notice. The, what a scoundrel. I, oh my gosh, yeah. Schlubs just wrote a 21 for sleight of hand. Fucking Strudel Kitty cleaning up everything. Jesus Christ. He went to the bathroom last session, came back, and everything was fucked up. He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be having this. The messes are supposed to stay in the bathroom. And um, as you guys land, um, the mother just uh, kind of like, uh, she's like cane, step, step, cane, step, step, uh, in the middle of the deck. I think that was pretty fun. Oh, I agree. Did you have a good time, mother? I had a wonderful time. Thank you. That's, That's amazing. Like. I'm glad. Where is little Tidesky at? Uh. Uh. I don't know. And uh, as as she mentions that, uh, you guys just see a little like. It looks like a little dot flying in the air, and it l appears like is it a bird floating. Um, is it a plane above deck? And then it you just see as it starts to grow, and uh, and you see even tide like come out of it as it grows uh, larger, and he's he's kind of like shifty eyeing. All right, mother. Yes. Oh, thank God. She's okay. All right. You guys actually did better than I thought. Did you have a good time, Mother? I had a wonderful time. He looks, like, shocked. And her saying that, like, with these guys? Okay. Um, would you like to go back into the room, Mother? Yes, please. And uh, even Tide starts to walk toward the toward the room or toward the captain's quarters to open up the door and uh, let her inside. Does anybody want to do anything? Um, Can I this, follow? Is this going to be the last time we see Mother? Um, you don't know. Um, uh, can we follow? Yeah, you can follow. Yeah, let's just follow. Okay, well, Mimi follows. I follow as well. And, uh, all right, so you guys are going in. Um, I'll follow too. Even Todd is helping uh, Mother on the chair. And anybody that followed, I want you to make a perception check for me. Follow the guy to death? Yeah, Maracucha. In, the, in the room. A 17. Oh, fuck me. What is 25. it? 25. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Loyal got in that one. Okay, that I don't one. think there is what any did, point. What did, he, what did he stab his eye with? <laughs> okay. Um, this actually works out uh, to your benefit. As soon as Loyal, or as soon as Hideki walks through the door, he kind of like moves his arm over and hits over a vase. And it shatters. And right before you hear the shatter, uh, Mimi Dank, you and um, Baloney see the smashed up scrying orb in the middle of the floor. 
And even Tad looks to Hideki. <sighs> you just couldn't <laughs> not touch things. And as he's uh, going over there, he he uh, snaps his fingers, and in your hands, Hideki, uh, a, bro a broom and a uh, dustpan appear. Please clean that up, so no one steps on any glass. Hideki like sweeps everything into a pile, just like pushes it off to the side. Okay, uh, Mimi Dank and Baloney, do you guys want to do anything? Since you see that scrying orb on the floor. And it looks like Eventide's distracted with uh, Hideki breaking a vase. Um. No. Wait, so it fell on the floor? No, it, it, the broken scrying orb is just sitting in the middle of the floor. Because of Mimi Dank's clumsiness. No, he got hit in the no, back no, of the no, head no, 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 Not mine! What the... <laughs> My have been so to okay, me. Um, okay, 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 um... Um, okay, so Mimi picks it up and, uh, and, uh, oh, oh wait, um, wait, <laughs> uh, like, I, th I think this fell too. Even Todd looks over at you. What fell? Well, Mimi picks up the orb and shows it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? <sighs> what happened? The orb kind of like floats over and into his hand. And as he, as he looks at it, he looks toward you, Mimi Dink, and he looks at the the dent size in the uh in the orb. Did this hit you in the head? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, I don't know. At at some point, I got hit to the head with something. I don't know if it was that. And uh, Mother uh, looks over there. It's okay, Tadski. I didn't like that thing anyway. Oh. And he throws it back to you, Mimi. Do you catch it? Uh, yes. Okay. Whoa. You have a broken scrying orb now. Awesome. Just what I wanted. <laughs> what I, I mean, you know it hurts pretty bad. Uh, it's being thrown. Yeah, I can use it as a weapon. <laughs> okay, everything looks in order, and Mother seems pleased. You all have my thanks. And as to my part of the deal... I will not take any of your memories, and I will help you with your dragon problem. What would you like me to do? I'm not going to do all the work, per se, because this is a trial. But Gavel just looks. Can you explain why it's there? To Let's be, start with that for starters. To be honest, I did not encounter that dragon when I originally did that the dragon was not a not a thing for me so I'm not sure why he's there or what's he what he's doing there uh, or what he wants that would uh, fall to a time for my rise to power even tide if I recall correctly this entire realm all the memories all of it this entire plane is of your design you obviously have some sort of you obviously have developed in a short amount of time to become the you're just walking like just pacing the formidable kind of god you are now isn't it kind of odd now that such odd occurrences happen in your memories and yet they're your memories there's not a set path to complete the trial. I did what I did, but everything is set in place as to how it was when I was originally going through this. So anything that could happen when I was doing it could happen when you guys go through them or when someone else goes through the trial. It's it's up to your decisions. 
So you're telling me the memories are circumstantial. Yes. That the dragon so, like, bones were there, every, but you didn't activate them. Yes, like every other step, and it's all circumstantial. It is Great. open. <laughs> it's like a little pocket world, if you would like me to compare each memory. And uh, it's kind of like I've taken that pl that piece of time and put it back in here. And anything that could happen then can happen now. But would you guys like to try to fight the dragon, or would you like to try to talk to the dragon? What what would be your or not encounter the dragon at all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I can't completely. Um, what's the what's the right wording for it? I can't completely guarantee that you won't have to encounter him. Because well, then can you then at least um. Weaken the dragon? Um, how, I think I ha I think I have an idea, and this might this might prove to help you guys in the future. Uh, let me roll for him real quick. Um, okay. Easy. All right. Let me look this stuff up real quick. Um. Okay, you guys see Eventide uh, step back. Roll dice. And uh, in his hand, you see uh, five little balls of different color. Is it the dragon balls? And um, he starts moving his fingers, and they uh, they start to tie together. And you see a little bracelet being made. And uh, as you're there talking to him, Gavelt, he puts it in your hand. Wait, what are you putting his hand? Uh, he puts a bracelet in your hand. If if a dragon... I'm, I'm kind of checking this thing. Uh, no, oh, he's about to explain it to you. I'll go ahead. If a, if a dragon voluntarily swallows this, you will receive power. Or your whole group will receive power. And as he says that, each of you get a bracelet uh, on your hands. Uh, right, or on the same arm that you had the deep purple or deep purple ring, and it's got the mm. same boss. Wait, you what? can only use it five times, but if you get a dragon to swallow this, I'm not sure what it does or what it'll do depending on the dragon. Like this, this one you said was a green dragon. Yes, yes, it's white, green, and old. Okay, like, this this one. Old will give the party uh, immunity <laughs> to br uh, breath poison. Ooh. I recommend we get the dragon to swallow Gavelt while he's wearing the bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even Todd starts laughing. <laughs> Wait, so, um, I'm sorry, what what appeared on our wrist? A bracelet uh, with five little balls on it. And he's so it's on you, all of our wrists. Yeah, if you okay. get if you get that dragon to swallow this bracelet, your whole party will be immune to poison a breath. Is this a so so this bracelet? This is me asking. This bracelet's on everybody's wrist. Yes, he handed well, you yours, world. and then everybody else had one appear on their wrist. And and by willingly, you mean it can be like sne like snuck into like a piece of meat. No. So Gabo really hasn't put so Gabo hasn't put his on, but everybody else has just appeared on their bodies. Yes. Gabo just looks at that and then just looks at him. But he, he, he... I'm not gonna ask. I'm not. However, <laughs> look at however looking at um baloney. If it were to eat one of you, and since all of you already have it on, that would be beneficial but disappointing. Let's try to avoid dying from this point, if that's even possible. I don't know, man. I mean, the fact that we all got our bracelets on us and yours wasn't, I think that's a bad omen. Oh, yeah. You see, you see, Gavel. You see, Gavel just put his hand up. And, you know, see Keith King appear again. So you're just looking at him. See the monkey put his arm out. See the belt put it on that. Actually, it might be a blessing. You may not even know it. Oh, okay. A blessing that's, for us. That's a, that's
that's a pretty good uh, little strategy. I'm not like talking as even tied here, but that's a pretty <laughs> good little strategy. Oh, <laughs> I might be for dinner. Pretty clever. Well, okay. Clever. I uh, might be. <laughs> let's just say that I have some. Let's just say I may have an idea of what dragons sort of like. <laughs> Past experiences. Oh no. And um <laughs> because if we're oh, no. if we're done here, you have my thanks. Oh and uh where the doorway was now appears like a little uh purple light and he's like if you walk through you'll be teleported to where your standing party member is. Uh, do no. you guys, Sorry, what? Uh, he said, "If if you guys walk through the doorway, you will be teleported to where Don is." Well, oh yeah, yeah, uh, of course, absolutely. And uh, <laughs> you guys can go back in the memory. Uh, y yes, uh, Sam. Before I do that, and I think it's about time I do it, I'm going to give back the statue to Strudel. Okay. In front of Eventide. He oh, actually... just thinks it's a statue. He doesn't know what it is. Oh, he already okay. checked it. That's true. Didn't he try to destroy it? Yeah, he tried to destroy that thing. Maracucha. Yeah, give me this. <laughs> All right, Strudel Kitty, you pocket the baboon. Statue. We're saving this. <laughs> Thank you, gnome. And now I guess we all walk through. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody's walking through. Yeah. All right. Friendship mm -hmm. bracelets and all. All right, you guys walk through, and uh, that same little sensation as you were teleporting with the ship happens, and you guys kind of, kind of like, not fall really, but you kind of like appear before the ground, like a foot or something in the air, but not like standing. You guys kind of like, I guess you do fall a little bit. And Everyone falls, but I just splat. Yeah, you see, you see Don. Uh, in, like you guys just splat behind Don, and Don like flinches. Shh! What are you guys doing? What the heck happened? And he points to his uh, hand. We all got murdered because of an NPC named Baldwin. Shh! Shh! Look, Lord. That Lord. is some. Look, get out. Um, what's shh, happening? That's, shh. that's some beautiful. Okay, uh, as, okay, as you guys are like looking at him, he's uh he's currently. Uh, standing in front of a stone tower, and I need uh, who's who's one or anybody that wants to check. I need you to make an intelligence check for me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> or that's wanting to know what he's doing, because I don't want to just go out and say it. Because some of you might not know. Let's see. let's go. Okay. Oh, uh, fifteen. Mimi Dank, okay. I've got um plus one now, don't I? What is going oh, on? No, 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 intelligence. Yeah, I have plus one. I have plus one. It's uh, it's uh, sixteen. Yeah, it's sixteen, yeah. I'll make a check at the no, nine. Seventeen. Seventeen. Like... Yeah. God, seventeen. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you did not just roll on that one. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so uh, how how no Mimi should not be the <laughs> the brains. Of... Oh, there you go. There we go. God damn it! You started already. Hold on. Let me Don't check use them up yet. Again. Like this isn't useful now. Tip twenty. Was I mean, an intelligence what? check. Yeah, an intelligence. And that twenty D in food. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, like not, not like that. Fucking here goes Trash the roll. fucking monster rolls with Sam again. Did Sam get a twenty again? Yeah, he got a nat. Yeah, I got twenty again. Fucking god! <laughs> like brain, brain blast over in the corner. Watch me get. Watch me get. Watch me get that <laughs> one. I bet that one. Oh, 15. 15, Okay. All right. I got a nat one. All right. So yeah. Gavelt, uh. And then the uh, strudel, you're you're kind of like on the edge, like what's he doing? Uh, Gavelt. Oh no. Uh, Sam and or Gavelt single and Mimi, uh, you guys instantly know that uh, Don is putting dynamite around this tower. Uh, Lorcrin and of Bologna, course. you think he's got candy? What? 
That's you you see Cavell mouth the word slowly. What? In what and, the uh, everlasting hell shh, are you hold on, doing? Be quiet. And uh, you got you guys also see a little skeleton uh, putting dynamite down by the tower. All right, look, guys. What? Since since I've got here, this dragon's been annoying the freaking crap out of me. He's seen him. He points to the little skeleton. And he keeps asking me to, like, help his buddy out. But, I, you know, this thing started following me. And he also tried to kill the little skeleton. The little skeleton didn't die. Uh, so he's, like, really wanting uh, me to help him. But he's kind of gotten on my nerves. So I'm going to try to blow him up. Is okay, so uh, how, how about how wait, about we talk wait, to him before you blow everything up? Wait, 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 Don. Yes. If he wants you to help him, just have him eat this bracelet. If he's a dragon, tell him it'll help him out somehow. Oh, is that where I got this? He holds up a hand, and he's already got a bracelet on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just tell him to eat that. Isn't the point of the dynamite is supposed to be for the dragon? Nah, let's see what let's see what happens oh, if I mean, uh, Don can sure get him to eat it. Oh, hold on a minute. He puts the he puts the little uh, bracelet on the skeleton. I'm sure he'll want a snack whenever uh, little guy over there blows him to smithereens, and he hands him a match. The thing right, about guys, you. Yeah, all right. That's not how it works. You see, if it's not how it works, it has no flesh. I imagine these bracelets Don. look like those candy bracelets. Wait, all right, fine. wait, Don. Yeah, Don. He has oh, to eat it willingly. He did a shot though. Oh. That's not how it works. It has no flesh. I mean, will he eat me? A target isn't going to go for something that has no flesh. Don puts the bracelet back on him. Will he eat me? No. Just have him eat the bracelet. Tell him it'll help him somehow. I mean, what does it do, what does it do if he eats it? We it don't dies, know. Kill him? But oh. it, it may die. It may die. But that's not the point. Looking at Baldwin. Think. Wait, <laughs> Use your head. Oh. I know you had one. Listen. Not looking, they're looking at Loker. Oh. Looking at Loker. Think. Use your head. <laughs> All right, so, like, I'm glad you guys are here and all, but we gotta make like not a lot of noise because he's up here sleeping. What do you mean? Oh, and you want to this use time? Oh, this oh, tower. This, this, this tower is packed full of it. Lost your mind? Have you lost oh, your why don't, mind? Why don't why why don't we just let it go? Boom. You he, he looks at me. We need a power. Up. You see, you, you idiots. You see, you idiots. If we do serious damage to this place, I don't care if we just met the mother god. We will suffer more later. Wait, it will start an entire suffer? forest fire that we'll have to run through. If we fail to kill that thing, it will get worse. Good point. Roll a persuasion check, Gavel, for Dawn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Because uh, this dragon's been really annoying to him. <sighs> anyway. Now I'll give you all um, my luck. Persuasion plus four. I need better garbage. modifiers. What is this garbage? Give me plus a plus seven. Too bad. It's just, it's just, we're just yeah, low. You better got, modifiers. I have, I have like 20 ones. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Don't, don't use the, like cry over your modifiers. Did I win? It just told me I leveled up to 22. <laughs> Maybe I rolled a well, 23. Well, at least me <laughs> is back on <laughs> I rolled a 19. 19. I'm going to roll insight for Don. Okay, 11. Okay. he He's hearing you out. All right, so. Look, I got all this dynamite mm -hmm. from some bolts that Kobolds jacked. Uh, dynamite. We can, we can save this as a as a backup plan? <sighs> I think about... Bro, his eyes. Last time we were here, there were a bunch of flesh-eating plants, wildlife, and uh, who knows what's worse here. Pack a plan, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll keep it. Right, so, keep it. Yeah. Uh, so, like, to finish this memory, we gotta kill this dragon, though, right? No, there's more than that. We still have to make it to an entire temple of God knows what. God knows how far in the forest because we lost the map. Looking at Lorcrit, we still have to find that. Shit. 
can't believe Baldwin did that shit to us. Yeah, uh, just so you guys know, Don has no idea what's going on. I mean, it... as usual. Okay. Okay. Like How he doesn't know anything dragon? about like what Baldwin told you guys or anything. I mean, we could tell. We we can tell. I mean, we, we can tell. Seekerville just asks. How how close is it to our position now? Uh, he points up at the tower. The tower is about, I want to say, probably like 60 feet in the air. Like 60 feet tall. He's in the top room of that tower. Even tie you fuck. Even tie you bastard. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? You, you can't call him a bastard, Gavell. He gave us a means to power up here. He put us right in front of. He put us right in another situation where you have a whole stick of dynamite that is not. That is probably not going to kill it, and then we'll have to deal with it anyway. He gave somehow. us an opportunity to prove ourselves, and you're looking at it like a. It's a fault. Suicide is an opportunity to prove yourself. All right. So, uh, uh, Don's giving away the magic from the skeleton, and uh, he starts. He starts uh, putting dynamite in between the skeleton's ribs, though, just in case oh, you no. go inside that dragon's tummy. And then the the skeleton like nods, <sighs> up, uh, nods up and down. Can you um tell us um how did you become friends with this skeleton again? Uh, he just started following me. Uh, before I got in this dream. Eventide. That's probably Eventide as well. You, you, you just said, you see Gavel just thinking, all right, so I'm sure some of you probably have come to the conclusion that you know, if we don't go with this dynamite memory plan, sorry, we will have to. Huh? Uh, memory, sorry, not dream. I don't know why I said dream. Okay, anyway, um, <clears throat> I was saying, okay, so. Think about just thinking. I'm sure some of you in your minds have probably come up to this conclusion, but I come to the conclusion by now that even if we don't immediately sell the dynamite, we will have to wander off somewhere in whatever position, whatever direction that is the Knoll camp, which God knows how many there are here, just to find the map and find the tree that we were at before we lost the map. But if we set the dynamite off now, we'll be on a clock and we'll definitely be lost if <clears throat> running through a burning forest. Is it the what? is it the map is it the map at the huge ass tree where we died and not at a knoll camp? You see, you see, Gavel, yes. You know that's kind of garbage. Cause look around you. Yeah. <laughs> see the cameras doing all these trees. Yeah, you guys just see. Uh, no, trees but the tree around. tree is like hundred times bigger uh, yeah. than any tree. Yeah, this this area right now, you guys are kind of in like a little grass patch, and then you're seeing us. Uh, looking at like a oldish looking stone tower that stretches up 60 feet in the air. It, it towers above the trees in the area. Okay. Any sign of anything else that isn't huge with wings, such as anything with two legs that are talking lizards that talk draconic? Um, looking I at got, uh, uh, swallowed by some plants, but uh, uh, he did a couple times. He points back to the skeleton. The skeleton waves at you. Um, uh, but I followed the dragon here, and I was trying to take him out. So there's no sign of the coal. There's no sign of any cobalt either. Uh, I did. I did go to that village. They were kind of like okay to see me. Or, hmm. uh, I, I'm not sure why. I think we should try to take care up. of this dragon. I think we should try to get it to one of these bracelets. So what exactly? Well, turns around. Well, was it Walker? Okay. What way would you like to approach this idea? <laughs> Smiling at him. I mean, the, like is the dynamite off the table to everybody? He, like, looks around no, at everybody. No, it's not off the table, but Don. Uh, Lurkrin, uh looks at Don. Uh, you said this dragon likes you, right? What? No, no, no. He's been annoying. And, uh, I'd be, I'd be oh, impressed. Oh, 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 oh. He wants me I'd to be... like help him, but I'm, I keep lying to him, so he probably ain't, uh, ain't too. What happy. does he want you to help him with? Yeah, uh, he wants me to get somehow like, due to this skeleton, what, uh, or due to that that dragon skeleton, what this skeleton's got going on, and I just told him I needed some time. You want to? It's to find the bone or the femur, isn't it? All right. 
what you need to do is tell him to eat that bracelet and tell him it'll give him the power to resurrect uh, that other dragon. I can do that. Why? Yeah, you need to lie, Don. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, those things are not, these things are not that vulnerable. This is an ancient uh, dragon. Chill out, Gavel. Chill out. No, it's Go with the flow, it's homie. Like you insult. This is not a game. Don you will not fool uh, a dragon of such fool. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? Uh, you can convince that dragon to eat this, right? I mean, oh, we, can, we can try to get the dragon to eat something wearing it. That is true. I uh, nominate Gavel. Alright. Um, like, so, like... Sing yes, what were you going to say, single... If we were a little truthful, perhaps we could get him to eat it. After all, these are made by the, well, Eventide, if he this actually thing, knows who that is. This thing probably would it. You see, Gavel, this thing probably would it. And I believe he ran out of truth serum or trust serum, looking at Lokren from games. Maybe we can make the dragon eat it without necessarily lying. Lorcan flips off Gavel. All right, who's being bait? Not it. Not it. Not it. The skeleton like waves his hand. Okay, but what if we use reverse psychology on it? You want to use reverse psychology on something that may have lived over four thousand years? The uh, dragon's the bait. I don't hear know. me out. Hear me out. We treat these bracelets like they're really special and important, which they are, and we make the dragon want them just to take them away from us. So, you want to toy with the horde instinct of a dragon. Hmm. A chromatic dragon at that. Hey, it's either that or one of us gets eaten. Okay. Gavel just like... Gavel, so how like, would you know, we convince a little the bit dragon to want the bracelet? Oh, well, he's, it, it, uh, he's right. The, the dragons, they really like treasure. That's probably the whole reason he's here, is to get some mm. kind of treasure. We make out that it's got the same power as that god juice. But the, the stuff that brought him back from the dead. He'd probably well, love if we that. do that, the dragon won't try to eat it. The dragon will just try to protect it and try to use it on its friend. No. We need to make the dragon want to destroy it just so we can't have Let's it. Let's ask the dragon if it likes mayonnaise and then lather the bracelet with mayonnaise. I, you know... I was thinking uh, that, you know, I don't know what to think about that. Mayonnaise? <laughs> like, Don <laughs> is just like, what is mayonnaise? I'm half <laughs> dragon. I like mayonnaise. Mm. Yes, mayonnaise would be his extra man after it's done, after, after it's done with us, after we ask it that question. Perhaps we can put mayonnaise on the skeleton. Yes. And then a bracelet on it. However, I am... I am interested in the child's idea. I'm talking about baloney. On another note, maybe we shouldn't be planning about how to trick the dragon right in front of the dragon where it's sleeping. Yeah, I mean, we could blow it up and then, like, see if it eats somebody. We will be separated in minutes. We have to get a gain a great amount of distance, and then it will come after us. And it will poison gas the entire area. Oh yeah, that's right. He probably wouldn't resort to just chomping. He'd probably, he'd probably start uh, doing the gas thing. Oh yep, you're right. So we'll be dealing with forest fires, an angry, an angry spirit-filled forest, and a dragon. Well, that now. would be alive after that. Hmm. We gotta get, Let's him, see. get him while he's hungry. Do we have a Do we have a plan? We we need, I have yo, hey, I have a lot of uh, wolf meat. Uh, do you ever bring him food, Dom? With the dragon? Yeah. Uh, he says he wants your help. Not with food, but. Do you know when he eats? Uh, no, I just followed him here. I have banana peels. How long has he been asleep? Um, yeah, how long has he been up there? Close to a day. <laughs> I was planning on hide, hiding in that uh, tower, like, you know, while putting dynamite down. But no, he's been asleep the whole time. 
wake it up. So you would first have to wake it up and then pray. It doesn't immediately destroy you from your sight if we were to use bait. At the same time, we would need something of high value to think about. You know, I really wish you didn't get I really wish you didn't get bought when killed. So, uh, we so we have a plan. We need an arm. I think we need artifacts. We need those artifacts. The artifacts. Those might work. If the dragon uh, so this... that's that's a that's a plan. Well, hear me out because we still have to retrace our footsteps and. I mean, you guys want to climb the tower and get a better look, or does somebody want to like climb the tower and get a better look for where you want to go? It's pretty tall. Like we just gotta not go to the very top. Anything. Want to go to the very top? Anything. Can, yeah. Can we? Can we go to the very top? Well, that's where the not be... like is it... that's where the dragon is. Yeah, exactly. I think his name's like Slinky well, or something. No. Was it Zeal? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh no. Yes, go to the top. <laughs> yes, go to the top and die. All of us. Um. But, um but by the by the way, um, isn't the only thing Zeal wants to to kill us? So if if he sees us, I don't think he wants to talk. Yes, I've emphasized that. Uh, he doesn't know he killed me. I was invisible at the time. It does not matter. He still well, knows you I mean, exist. doesn't your body turn into visible like when you die? It it yeah, doesn't it, matter it, if it did. It the dragon sad. still knows he... It doesn't matter if it did. The dragon still knows he exists because he revealed himself to it back yeah. at the camp during that night. <laughs> Look at that, Baldwin. Baldwin isn't here. Not not bottom, look at that Lorcran. Fucking names. Alright, yeah. so um I'm gonna like I'm not talking as Don, but what, what do you guys want to do? Like I'm you know, like are you guys wanting Well to, like, no one knows. Yeah, go to <laughs> like as a team, like, you know, are you are you guys trying to get the artifacts first? Or are you Let's guys trying to make this bitch swallow a necklace? Wanna yeah. fuck with the Where's dragon the... first or Fuck I'm with the dragon fuck with the dragon? Fuck with the dragon, we all die. We all straight well, up no, die. No, but there's a chance we get lucky. No, dead. no, no we Zial won't get gonna, lucky. No, Zial, like until um, no, until we deal with Zeal, he's gonna be a threat. Yeah, and well, whatever we choose, it would be good if there wasn't like a whole yeah. quarter of an hour between rolls. Fine, we have multiple lives, so I guess we can't waste lives, but. If Dawn blows that forest up and people somehow live, because you're talking about a collapsing tower and somehow all of us having to make rolls to lift that shit. Oh, no, no. That I mean, uh, Dawn points to the skeleton pretty and much... he says the skeleton's going to light it. But yeah, well, if I mean, we all go up do... there, we'll be on top of it, and it's still going to no. be some Should we maybe up? split up into groups? Okay. Group that confronts oh, the dragon can. and another we one. We can't. We can't confront the dragon. When it sees us, it wants to kill us immediately. That's the only thing it wants wants to do with us. It doesn't, it doesn't want, want to kill to Don, talk, though. Talk with us. Exactly. It, that it, was, it, I was about to say that the one who should deal with the dragon is either the skeleton or Don. Exactly. I agree with Follow 100%. I agree with Follow as well. You want or, Don uh, to care and talk to the dragon? Who's Follow? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I, uh, me, me. His name we're is out me, of the me. game. We're out of the game discussing. Anyway, um, wow. Well, that's pretty much the only way. Like, yeah. I don't know if Don is up for it though. And there's you have to convince Don. For, you have to convince Don for that. Number one, number two. That's gonna take a lot of. Uh, no, I mean, Don hates the dragon, so I don't think we need to convince him. You know, like. Okay, okay, fine, fine. fine. But it's also going to take some stuff seeding from the DM, which I shouldn't be worried about. And then it's about the characters having to go somewhere else, sit and wait, and then eventually get it, you know, found by this dragon. So it's all about. Dawn, if you you do it, if you do it, uh, Akudra will give you a whole load of alcohol. True story. Mm. At the same time, we could get the world. Or we could give. Oh, wow. Oh wait, I think that I think you gotta put one D twenty actually. 
No, that's not. No, 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 no. That's correct. That is correct. Don't worry about it, Toucan. Yeah, that is a net twenty. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do. No, no, so no, 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 no. You just got so... two net twenties. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That so is perfectly normal. So what's that? Send Dawn up there. Oh, uh, that was cheating. Dawn is lighting a cigarette right now while y'all are talking. Oh, so we're actually talking as the characters. Okay. Um, no, I mean, you're, you guys are, like, discussing he's lighting a cigarette. That was stealth for him lighting a cigarette. Oh, that's real nice. So, well, right behind us, smoking a we cigarette can, like it's a dynamite. We can the offer, fuck? I mean, we all have, we all still have our rum and cigarettes. Uh, he, well, almost everyone. He so, we could offer Zial. those for Don. Zial, uh, Zial wrote a two on Perception, which, with uh, uh, Zial's modifiers, comes out to 19. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Don beat him. Really? Okay. <laughs> so that means Zial stay asleep, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Zial so, okay. So, I was doing that for smell. Then can like we it now? Smelled it. I mean, okay, I'm tempted to so make it though. It's, it's getting worse. Can we present the idea to Don? All right. Uh, yeah, present, present it to him. Don. Real stay silent, but okay. <laughs> Don, uh, yeah, what's up? You or this skeleton, you can decide, flip a coin if you have to. One of you need to either go up this tower and convince this dragon to, or no, this is what you need to do. It's not either. You, you need to convince this dragon somehow to eat this bracelet. I mean, uh, do you guys got any, like, ideas on how I would go about uh, doing that? Because the only thing I'm thinking of is me getting eaten. And, you know, this is not the first time I've been eaten by something. But I'm not particularly wanting tell the, to get eaten by a green dragon. Don't tell him uh, that uh, it was a gift from uh, Eventide. And uh, it's... It, it's from his mother, and that it has the restoring powers of the potion. Uh, or you, it, it's rumored to have. I'm, I'm gonna uh, roll an intelligence check on Don real quick. I mean, Gavos talk about the dragon too. Oh roll yeah. His eyes. He's, yeah. Okay. Uh, Don looks at you. I don't think uh, the dragon knows who Eventide is. Of course he does. Um, because of what was explained before, Lorgren. Uh, why don't you say that it? He gives them mother's abilities. Does the dragon yeah. give a darn about mother? I guess that's not something. No, but it right, could it give the restoring abilities. Brought so. back to life by it. Say yeah, that the inside dragons, the balls on the bracelet. Has already seen the abilities. Say that inside the balls on the bracelet is a potion that, when consumed, can give him powers that could resurrect. What if he makes me? Yeah, there you go. First, like, what if I eat this thing? And then he makes no, me try to resurrect not, the dragon. No, you're not powerful enough. No, that. But, but guys, I'm just, I'm just. Exactly. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, exactly. Like racking my head here. Don, this is the only way, okay? And trust me, if you if you're successful with this, it'll it'll be a huge payoff for you as well. I promise. We have rum like, and cigarettes. Give us just, just like just face palm or something like. Get, then you hey. okay? If he does ask that, then you have to tell them that all f all of the balls need to be consumed at the same time, so that the potions will mix properly when consumed. So you won't have to try it because then it would ruin the dragon's chance. Can I uh, can I offer? Can I uh, pull uh, Don aside real quick and yeah. then uh, tell him something? Hey, uh, Don. Roll stealth. Roll stealth, uh, and then stealth. anybody that wants to listen in will roll perception. I'm not at my computer, so I'll miss this one. Fifteen. All right, yeah. If you guys want to try to listen, perception. In, yeah, you you would roll perception. No, I doubt. I doubt there's oh, gonna 22. be. Oh, twenty-two. Shit. Now go ahead and say it, because you don't not, like uh, friend doesn't yeah. know that Baloney can hear him. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, hey, oh, uh, no. Listen, if you go up in this tower and you uh, you can pull this off, I'll give you a gold bar or two, all right? A gold? What am I? What am I going to do with a gold bar? 
Doesn't matter, dude. It's gold. It's shiny. You want it. You got any cigarettes? Um, you could buy a lot of cigarettes with this gold bar. From who? Um, Don Box is Merchant. more into like magic stuff. <sighs> this whole situation is insane. All right, you know what? Never mind. Never mind, Don. Never mind. This whole situation is insanely inconvenient. <laughs> Look, guys, if you. Can if, I... like, so, y'all want to, like, try to get this dragon to eat this thing? Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure if I piss it off enough, he'll try to eat me. Give out. Give out Rose okay. Eyes. So, is that going to be your plan uh, instead of explaining it? I mean, I'm <laughs> probably looking at dying if I'm going up there anyway. Because I have no idea how to see, You see, you see, enough. I'll, enough. I'll deal with it. Yeah, no. Uh, Don's gonna let you. Don, Don's no. like, okay. <laughs> I'll deal with it because it's because it's an unavoidable situation that looks up in the sky. Bastard, put us in now. Because apparently, mother's gonna have to be very, very upset. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, your funeral. I already had one. I think. No, I didn't. Well, now you're gonna have. No, now you're gonna have a second. Maybe if you all decide to celebrate my death, but I think you all prefer me dead anyway. You know, you see Keith Keen on his shoulder. Here's the uh, here's the idea, because it looks like this may have to be a split up, since I may be able to put quote charm an ancient one. Eyes looking left and right with a no, I probably can't look, <laughs> but he keeps talking. So yeah, it seems your like the best way to is the the man that. To woo the dragon. There's no way. The male dragon. It, it may be possible, but you know you have to present something of value. The issue is, is the artifacts. We have no way of finding the artifacts fast enough, and at the same time hiding all this dynamite. <gasps> Unless you know a way to do all that. Because oh, well, if he wakes up and sees all this dynamite, he will find us faster than we can blink. While Gadot is talking and explaining all this, can I um go with Dawn and open the door for him so we can go up the up the tower? <laughs> Y'all are sending him up there. Okay, All right, like, talk this over as a team. Like, I'm gonna shut up. Like, Don's shutting up. Like, what do you guys wanna do? Well, we were talking about it as a, as a team and almost done doing it and getting Don to go on top of the tower. Basically, whoever goes up there goes up there, or one of us are just gonna force someone up there and yeah, lock the door. Except, except only one. Is only one. Only one is going to have the time to explain it to the dragon, and that is Dawn. Everyone else is gonna get um, melted by acid, and not even get the chance to explain anything. <sighs> maybe two people could go. Well, I mean, maybe Gavel could go with Don. Well, one is for but... certain, and you have the maybe two. I would go with the certain I one. The, I have the Who's monkey. Dawn? I have the. I have the monkey, and I have the, whatever form it could take to possibly get in there. That can easy jump okay. on Gavel if he gets okay. in. Okay, you. Okay, you do that. Mimi will go for a nap, and um. But but here's the thing, though. Yeah. In case it goes wrong, which Gavel is going to mention this. In case it goes wrong, it doesn't matter what. The H E double hockey sticks happens. If you hear roaring, and if we don't come back down in the next ten minutes, twenty minutes, I don't care. If you hear something roaring, and it sounds bad, blow it up. Uh, uh, guys, uh, Bloomy asked me for a break real quick, so, and it, it's almost it's almost been an hour since we started, so I, I'd say that's cool. And then we'll we'll proceed with uh, Plan Don and Gavelt go in the tower. Uh, that when we get back. No, apparently, apparently just give up. Oh. Is or it... or Don. I mean, he can convince Don. You coming with me anyway? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but we'll we'll go on break. So we're gonna so we're gonna lose two lives. Maybe it depends if Gavel can like Master Chief his way off the tower <laughs> while it blows up if the dragon eats either of them. It's better than losing. God, like... I wish. I, oh, I wish you guys had this? a smarter NPC with you on right now. I mean, now. you put us in an impossible situation and Bloomy screwed us over an episode before the last episode ago because Baldwin is dead. And since Baldwin is dead, there are no artifacts to like, we don't, they don't have time. Because <laughs> then you have to find a way to hide all the dynamite. Like, there'll be 20 perception checks from that dragon by and then just to move all that dynamite again. And then... <laughs> 
find a way to go through the forest, like, not get eaten by flesh-eating plants. Uh, so it's either take punishment from a god and do like, I don't know, 600 damage to a dragon that probably has 800 HP because it got blown up by dynamite, lose a wizard, lose an NPC, while all the characters run through a burning fucking forest just to deal with shit later that God knows what's going to come up later. Um, to clarify, most of the dynamite that Dawn put is inside the t- tower. Oh, still it caused fire. Zeal but okay. just <laughs> uses the top part. Like Zeal can only fit in the top part and on top of it. It's not okay. gonna cause fire though. Okay, you still gotta like get the characters well, to get out of the range of when it falls. Because then two can't got me like, all right, let me roll to see if the tower falls towards the character's direction or falls away. Because I don't know if he's that good oh, at mass me, uh, to like I determine think, that. I think, I think it's just gonna be like raining stones. Let, yeah, let me. <laughs> hey uh, guys, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I oh have no, work that's cool. At seven a.m. tomorrow. That's cool. So start okay. getting ready for bed. Have a good night. Hey, I'm thinking. Hey, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just like on, not guys. able to stay Let up you. as late as I used to on Discord. Like I find myself getting tired, so. Like, so Bless you, much shlubs. earlier. Schlubs, before you leave, do you want to baboon anyone? Or do you want to put the baboon on anyone? Um, nope. I mean, I'll give it back to Sam, since he was kind enough to give it back to me. Okay. 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 And he's clearly made the best use of it, use of it so. It's, it's like the station. baboon is their child. And oh. they're taking good oh. <laughs> watching it. Anyway, it's a no win. Time. All right, later, Schlubs. Have a nice night, man, and a good day at work tomorrow. See ya. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. It's a no win situation. Well, you technically do win. We technically could possibly do stupid amounts of damage to this dragon if you blow up the tower with the dragon on it. And then you might be able to be an ancient dragon, and then maybe Toucan could be oh, nice yeah. enough to us to put us automatically to level five. In a level six? <laughs> could, 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 we, could we like try to get it to eat the bracelet because that was like the whole well, point of it? That's, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's that's what's gonna try. But you know, it's gonna take yeah. two. It's easy to go up there with two because Gabelt has the monkey, but he doesn't have the bracelet himself. The monkey's with Gabelt, and then Lorcan, who the dragon kind of likes, not Lorcan. <sighs> Motherfucker. Don, who the dragon kind of likes. No, no, he doesn't. I mean, what? When, when did did it? I mean, when did Tuka say that the dragon likes Dawn? I mean, obviously the dragon is using Dawn for some, so I'm just saying it likes him. I didn't. I, I mean, look. I mean, is, what do you want me to say? The dragon hates was, Dawn too to just kill him. Well, it was about compared to, use to how much it well, likes us. I don't, well I don't think it liked us. Come, like, listen to what Sam said. Compared to what it thinks of us, thanks, Lokran. It might as well fall. It might as well be in love with Dawn, but it doesn't really like him. Okay, it's just using him. They'd rather use Dawn than, okay, I don't know, us. Sense, guys. Congratulations. You, all, you guys all suck at this. I just want you to know. That's a loud vacuum cleaner. We're just, uh... Wait, vacuum cleaner? What? I'm gonna turn on some large vacuum cleaner. I'm just saying, because, <clears throat> you know, as much as is gonna deny and go in circles, he knows that shh, I might as well do it, even though I don't know if I can convince this thing. I am the one who... Can kind of talk to dragons. I'm the only one who doesn't have a body, but does have a thing, a decoy he can use to, you know, put in the dragon's mouth and or sacrifice to do it, because might as well. Why does <sighs> one of, why does one of our, our range people just shoot the thing into his mouth? Because well, that the dragon, dragon has needs to, to be eat will, willing to eat. Well, yeah. it has to be, it has to, you have to make it, it has to, it, it, it's possible. It's not impossible, but it's oh. like, well, it is. It's not like fucking. <laughs> we can't yes. just like shoot it. It's so a like, harsh. Oh, hey, open your mouth. And plus, who no, has a bow and arrow? It has to eat it willingly. God damn it! It's not the oh, matter yes. of like, like, yeah. It's not the matter of like uh, eating the mouth. Oh, so it has to eat it willingly. Is that what you can say? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's gonna voluntarily yeah. eat the. Eat the. Uh, what that's why we had the whole debate. Like, if that wasn't the case, we would have just, like, stuck it into a piece of, like, horse leg and have it eat that. I mean, technically, that might still be voluntarily eating it. That might work. Well, I asked you, I asked you that earlier, and you went, like, no. Wait, did I? Yeah, I asked, like, would it be okay if we stuck it inside, like, a piece of meat and had the dragon eat it, and you were, like, no. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I might have been talking to somebody else then. There's a lot. There's a lot of conversations going on. So, 
They can technically use bait and have. Well, okay. Just as long as you guys are not forcing the dragon to eat it, or throwing it in its mouth. Okay, fair enough. It's okay. You know, it's 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 fair game. Oh, so the okay. Well, I mean, is... okay. So let's take uh like into accordance. Like we have five of these bracelets, so we could hide one in like a piece of meat. If it doesn't go for that, then someone can go and try to negotiate it to eat it. It won. Negotiate. Who what knows if the dragon that? even eats? Eats what? Yeah, uh, but that's right. You of don't course know, it is. You don't know what the dragon Oh is. my god. Actually, that's a problem. There's just some circuit. There, look, there's just some chances we have to take. It doesn't matter. We don't have time for that kind. We don't have time to worry about I... that kind of point of what if it doesn't eat meat or not. We don't have time for I that. I couldn't eat meat. And he's made out of the same stuff as I am. <sighs> okay, so Gavel be like, all right, so let me put on my botanist hat and look through this entire Wait, freaking okay, place okay. and figure out what no, he can No, eat. no, no, that kind of makes it easier, though. Like, it doesn't have to eat any of us. It just has to eat the bracelet. So. Ah. So. It, 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 you just, just send Don out there with a pile of, like, delicious apples and put the bracelet in the apple and eat it? No, he doesn't it's, eat anything. Like if it, dragon, if it right? indeed is like the same as um like single and Mimi was before, uh, so, sorry, then it only drinks. It's a green dragon, right? Yeah. I don't. Um, if my memory serves me right, they like handcrafted things out of treasure. So, you know. So the baboon. Well, that wasn't handcrafted, but I mean, it could you could be tricked into him being it was. Um, I'm pretty sure. I, I, they like a hand Or maybe by. just one of the bracelets. I think let's they do just like, say they that do, that's handmade. They do like sculptures and I think artwork with uh, and stuff. Swords. Is this, a, is, this a, is this a is this a perfect so, dragon? Get, oh, can we just like picture the bracelet as one of like uh, like piece of art and like handmade? I mean, I I'm, don't know if we're talking about the same kind of dragon. To be the this sounds like a metallic. This sounds like a metallic dragon mentality here. <laughs> Like, if it was a metallic dragon, then sure, but why are we fighting one? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, a chromatic dragon likes art? Okay. Did you know different dragons favor different types of treasure, right? I know D&D as well. I know they favor treasure, but it depends on the type of dragon, and that sounds a lot like a metallic dragon mentality than a chromatic wow. dragon mentality. <laughs> I'm pretty sure green dragons favor, like, handcrafted items. Pete, so, okay. and do you really think I'm going to give you it? Something to that gives you a dragon. A work in. Again, why do we have to feed the baboon and not one of the bracelets? <laughs> but hey, if, why does it have to be the baboon? Uh, guys, we're, we're going to start again. Just so you guys okay. Know. Technically, us be, one of us being a sacrifice isn't a force, now that I think about it. I don't know how the logic works there. But, so, um, just in case. It's giving yourself away. Yes, sir. Here's my... I had to take an important phone call. Oh, you're fine. Here's, a... here's the Say thing, it. though. I hope this dragon has low arcana, because dragons can't check for arcana, and that would be concerning. Let me stop metagaming, though. But okay. Because if this thing has any magical S word, which I should have made a belt check for, but he's not going to do that okay. right now, screwed. Okay, so who's going into the tower? Give out already offered. Just gotta talk to Don. If anybody else wants to go with them, if they're willing. No, because we like everyone else. Everyone else will get eaten or will not eaten. Yeah. Acid. Okay. Are we role playing so, as the characters now, or are we just still mad at discussing? Uh, uh, no, you, you as want, characters. Yeah, as uh, oh, well, no. yeah, as characters. Go ahead and like, who wants to go in the tower? Like, give out. You okay. said you're going in there. All right, I'm gonna go in this tower. Even if the dragon is still alive after that explosion, which, by the way, somebody will have to... Do you have a device to set this off or any, anything uh, like that? Don points at the skeleton, with, uh, and then he's got matches in his hand. My god. And how will it know when to blow it up, looking at him? Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll give him a signal. Uh... Wait, no, no, I'm not telling him to light it, because if I tell him to light it, he does it. Like, he just listens to me. Well, but slowly puts his hand up. 
but only you know the signal? Yeah, as if so, so only well, you know the how signal. About if, how about if anyone screams? What? I mean, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we can, we can do a signal or tell him, like, hey, wait until we're gone. But if so I tell him to do it, he'll do it. Okay. Don, I want you to come with me in the tower. But if I go, I have to go in there by myself, then so be it. However, since you're the only one that knows how to signal that, you, like he did one of those body turns and just said that <laughs> and that skeleton, well, then you will have to go with you will have to go with them. If we're going to blow it up, we got to do it while either it's it's on top or. <laughs> Because we're not going to do any damage um, shit if it, like, it just takes off and then we blow it, blow the tire. Like, oh, I'm sure, I'm quite sure if it sees me. I'm, make, I'm quite sure if it sees me in general. <sighs> you know what? He, uh, he takes ground. another puff of his cigarette. I've been through worse. Let's go. Anybody else want to come? <laughs> you actually want to go up, but you're the only one that knows how to set off I'm the bomb. Good. I mean, worse come to worse, I just light the shit myself and we all go sky high. That's fine. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. why not? All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he, You'll go. Don you actually, see look at uh, nugget. You're picks coming? up single nugget and puts him on his shoulder. Wait, you're coming? When did you become a tree? Fine. Don't ask. Uh, fine. Uh, you, fine. No, you you're guys make a make a perception check on uh, a single nugget as Don puts him on his shoulder. All right, let me get back to my PC. While they do that, can um can Mimi start like moving to a safe distance from the tower? Or no, yeah. you, you ain't gotta make a uh, you ain't gotta make a perception check. You gotta see like Mimi's skin starting to like bark up or like look like bark. You mean single? My, or what? Single, Mimi's single, skin? No, no what? single. Sorry, single. And Gavel just like squints his eyes at this. Uh, okay, what kind of check? You know what? Let me finally take a quick look at this. What is going on with you? What kind of check should I have to make on this crap? <laughs> uh, knowledge. Arcana and a knowledge nature. Okay, but so all of them or just I, one? Both, both. Let me start with Arcana. <laughs> okay, so so can like those who are not gonna go into the tower start moving to a close distance? Yes, from it? yes. Just tell me okay. if you guys are not. Okay, so that's yes. Okay, I'm well, maybe, isn't... okay. Arcana is no. a oh god. You're... What? Do you're not, see? you're not what? He's not going in the tower. Okay. Well, okay, what's, the, okay. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, nature. The team. Okay. What's another one? Uh, no, that was, that was it. Um. All right. With those rows together, you can kind of put the, uh, put together that, uh, Mimi Dank, you don't know, like, how long, but, or not Mimi Dank, single, is uh, probably turning or going to root himself for 3,000 years like the mother was talking about. Or he's getting close to it. I don't know. I think just looking at the, the shake his head. All right. <clears throat> listen up. Everyone listen up and listen very carefully. If all, all three of us are going into that tower, and when it blows, it blows. You will all go and get, you all go and probably use common sense. And get a safe distance, but not only that. Maybe I want you to go maybe even maybe further. Maybe he's already out of the, the like. Uh, <laughs> maybe like he he already the... started walking. I know, I know. Oh, let's just say, let me just say, the monkey's there, walking with them before it goes back. No, don't just go a safe distance. Go back to the previous. Go tr retrace our footsteps. Find the map. Get the artifact. I don't care what the circumstances are. Good luck. Hey, you know, I seen the monkey just say that. All right, yep. The monkey disappears back to Gavel. And it reappears back. Uh, re reappears back on Gavel. Well, and he looks over to Mimi Dank. We don't need to listen to what he says, you know. Oh, I, oh, I wasn't. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Gavel, do you, you want to go? Oh wait, where are you, Lorcan? Are you going in or out? No, I'm staying outside of the tower, but I'm staying at the tower. Okay, what about you, Hideki? Uh, I'm going with uh, the group that isn't going in the tower. All right, so you're with uh, Baloney and Mimi. Anyway, you see Gavel roll his eyes. 
<sighs> they're they're arrogant. The group is arrogant, but I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll figure out what to do. Right, you see him look at ball. You see him look at Lokren. You see him look at Lokren. You see him look at Lokren. Hold on. You see him look at Lokren. You know you don't have to stay right here. Um, I want to? Question mark. I mean, you want to? You want to light this thing? Uh, you know what? Sure. All right. If shit goes down, he hands you some matches. Yeah. Well, just looks at the Lokren. One day I'll fix you. One day. Listen. One of so, by, so by the way, can we out. actually can we actually make uh, like way to the big tree where the map um, is? You guys are in the middle of the jungle, so okay. I'm gonna let you guys go first. Actually, if no. you wanna if you wanna try to find out where the big tree is, it's gonna be an athletics check to climb it. Climb a tree and look. Like okay. It's gonna be an athletics check and then a perception check for whoever wants to do whoever wants to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, does anyone else want to do it? <laughs> oh god! This sounds foul straight off that tree. Right. So as soon as as soon as Mimi Dank approaches the tree, Baloney and Hideki, you see him get. Uh, caught by one of those uh, like Venus flytrap kind of things that are in the ground, <laughs> and uh, Mimi Dank, you, Not my ass. You are taking six points of crushing damage as this thing is crushing, mm. you, trying to crush you. Are you guys gonna do anything with him? It's uh, probably a roll initiative kind of thing for that side over there. In the meantime, we're just waiting for the second group. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, well, they really don't have to fight it. Like last time, Jang just pulled Baldwin out of it. Oh, so. uh, then Baloney and Hideki do something instead of just standing in there being silent. You just kind can of I, can us I for... say anything. So, yeah. yeah, we're listening to what the DM was saying. And say something. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, my pack of boon to create a sword and try to chop down the. Oh, okay. Uh, roll to hit. Oh no, not gonna that one. Oh, I get a, I get mean, a mean, two, Meanwhile, because uh, I have proficiency when I use uh my magical pack of boon. Just throwing that out there too. Oh, you get your uh, proficiency bonus to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, that's cool. Cool. What what weapon are you uh using? Sword. Sword. All right. Yep. Roll to hit. And it's kind of just staying there, so it's not, like, hard to hit. You just got to manage not to hit Mimi. <laughs> <It's laughs> <right of it. laughs> awesome. Well, I'm a small target. That is true. He is a dwarf. <laughs> I thought you managed three. to get hit before. Too. I think it was plus three, right? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. You just, all right, Baloney, as you're sitting there, Hideki just, like, pulls the sword out kind of like out of his body and uh this light like dissipates Ooh. off of it as it as it takes its sword form and then he kind of goes up and does a zoro like type slash and goes beyond or oh, snap. through it and then um uh, as he like stands up the plant just cuts in half and mimi you fall out of it baloney oh, applauds my. him a little bit oh my oh my <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was an easy target. Right. So would Baloney? You would want to either of you want to try climb this tree? Oh Is God! It, you, could we use athletics or um? Acrobatics or is it just straight? Uh, because there's vines on the tree too. I'm gonna say just athletics on this one. I think that. Okay. <laughs> God damn! It. God damn it. Well, I mean, fine. like plus five. My my only goddamn plus five, and then that one. Don't worry. At least you at least you don't get constant crappy rolls like I do. <laughs> anyway, fourteen. 14. Let's see what Baloney gets. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, uh, B Mimi Dank's kind of taking a break down at the bottom, looking for more of these plants, and um, Hideki, 
you're kind of struggling, but you just look up and Baloney is like flying through this. Uh, you you actually uh, Mimi Dank as you look up, you actually start seeing uh, Hideki dangle off of uh, Baloney's foot as Baloney's still climbing, <laughs> holding Hideki up. And as you reach the top, I want both of you guys to make uh, perception checks for me. Oh! Nat 20! Alright. <laughs> Hideki, you're trying to get in the sun in your eyes. Uh, but, <laughs> Baloney, uh, you are seeing clearly. You know exactly how to get back to the big ass tree. Yes, that is its name. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, oh, can... it was a team effort. Wait, are you? Is he even up here? Are you up here? <laughs> no, he's down. He's down, like <laughs> holding this paddle, looking for more of these <laughs> plants coming out no, of the ground. No, can but I... like you guys got up, and I was here supporting you, like mentally. <laughs> Can, uh, can Hideki look for some vines and, like, drop them down to, like, pull me up? Uh, yeah. Go go ahead and make an investigation check. Investigation. Okay, and then, I can do that. If Mimi Dank can get up there, I'm going to move over to the other group and see what they do with this tower. But you guys if do... I can. Uh, 22. Yeah, you guys do know... Do I roll a... Do I roll athletics again? Yes, yes, please. With advantage this time, since it's just a vine going straight up. <laughs> oh, god damn it. 19. Oh, 19. Well, at least he's making why it. Didn't I, why didn't yeah. I roll 19? <laughs> like last. Oh, right. it's just a Yeah, Mimi, thank you. Get up there, and you, you guys see where Baloney's mm -hmm. pointing, and yeah, you guys see the big ass tree. And then we're moving over. Uh, Don is asking you to lead the way, Gavel. Gavel looks at um. Gavel looks at Baldwin, so you know the signal. Oh my god! You know the signal. I think Gavel's going crazy. He's not going crazy. So Baldwin knows the signal to blow it up, right? Uh, Baldwin's dead. Not Baldwin. Lopren. That's me talk. That's me talking. Like you confuse the name. Yeah. Not Gavel. Gavel wouldn't confuse the name, so get off my. All right, so Lorcan, you know the signal. Yes, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, See. yeah. I start I... screaming, you start blowing up. Okay. See, Gavel, turn around. Let's move. Unless you see the dragon fly off, then just don't blow it up at all. I just want to clarify that, or we're just going to be wasting lives because probably all three of us will die with this explosion. See ya. Lurkin laughs like Blackbeard. He winks. Uh, Don winks back at you. All right, let's go. Um. All right. I need you guys to all roll stealth checks for me that are going in the tower. So I guess uh, Gavelt and um. Don and yeah, the I'm rolling for tree. Don. Stealth checks. Oh God. All right, Don. Not too good. <laughs> Watch me not get a good either. Probably who knows. I just realized mine's plus five. Follow by chance. God, twenty. <laughs> oh, okay. Twenty on. Uh, considering how the other plus five went. Oh, that's not okay. terrible. Oh my god, I can't right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Okay, actually, I'm giving... I'm, I am giving Z all disadvantage for this. Okay, the first row was a nat 20, but this is better. Um, Wait, why is he getting disadvantage? Because he was sleeping. And he... He really only knows, like, Dawn... <laughs> Is uh, he doesn't know the rest of you guys are there, so that's why I'm giving them disadvantage. But uh, as you guys are walking up the tower, you hear a voice. So you finally come. Uh, I think it was Don. Hopefully you have what I need. Oh fuck! 
Yeah, I'll be right up there. Okay, we might need a new plan. Uh, okay, I guess I, since we're gonna all gonna die, I guess I'll have to light him. You, you, you're lighting it. No, light oh, him. Oh, I thought you said you were lighting uh, it. Uh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, Gavel just keeps quiet. Gavel just, just keeps quiet. Just looks at Don. Just tells him, just moving. I. So anyway. I will tell him that the reason I'm still alive is because of the bracelet and that if he eats it, he uh, will okay. become immortal like me. All right, uh, Don Don is going up there. Uh, he puts you down, uh, Single Nugget, and as you guys enter the doorway, you see <laughs> Zial lurched over uh, with, okay, his, uh... with his arms crossed and his head sitting on his arms. And in as human he, form? No, he as he breathes out, I want you guys to make a constitution saving throw. He's not using poison breath, but it, his breath is still not good to breathe in. And Don's going to have to, too. <laughs> no! Okay, what are you guys going to get? Oh. I've got 19. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, single, you're good. You it always does, it, good it doesn't even affect you. 19. Oh, yeah, you can vouch you're good. Uh, fucking Don, as soon as he enters the door, <laughs> he starts gasping yeah. for air. Gavel, I guess Gavel and, Gavel and uh, <laughs> single are, like, just behind two corners. Yeah, like, yeah like, you guys are kind of, like, doorway. lurched behind the doorway. Just, and as, yeah, uh, just Gavel just has this arm over his nose as Don is struggling to breathe he all kind of like picks him up and holds him outside the window uh, Lorcran you just see a giant dragon arm just come out the window holding Don <sighs> oh no <sighs> oh thank you thank you I'm good now I'm good and then uh, Zial like brings him closer so you have what uh, I need uh, yep, I actually made it better, too. Ta-da! And he, he points toward the doorway. Ta-da! Points toward the doorway again. Oh, God. Anyway, now. I, I signal Gavel not to walk out, and I just walk out instead. Okay. Zial's yep. head lurches up as a uh, single nugget. Uh, emerges. Gavel slowly pulls out his book and starts flipping through a couple pages. Now, I've learned how to bring them back and not just the skeleton. See, this one can actually talk. Go ahead and start talking, buddy. Uh, you might remember me. And, oh, of you know. I remember you. After you melted me, I was luckily brought back. What? I wouldn't call this the best idea of places to go afterwards, but uh, here I am. What sort of magic is this? And he lurches over. He's kind of like examining you. He's making an insight check on you. Okay, that's not too good. That's a five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't know what's going on. He kind of sees that you're like kind of your skin's a little rougher. Single as he kind of pokes you too with his claw. Uh, how did this happen to you? If you don't mind explaining me, I've already lost my trust for this one. He looks over at Dawn. But you know to tell me the truth, right? Just a small side effect from. Basically, coming back from the dead. It's thanks to this amulet. Uh, for something as big as you that wouldn't be able to wear it, you would have to eat it, though. It's like, as long as I don't die again, I am willing to give it away. 
Uh, but you'd have to promise me. Roll a deception check for me. <laughs> Single nugget. <laughs> and since that was a, ro a low insight check, I am going to give you advantage. Because he all kind of doesn't know what's going on with you. Holy. <laughs> okay. That's one. His first one was a 19. <laughs> then a three. Okay, well. Oh, God. It's lucky it's got yeah. advantage. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been a 19 either way. Um, oh, yeah, it would. Zial is going to hit you with another insight. And that's a nine. Okay, yeah. Zial believes you. So, this brought you back to life. By wearing it. What? I'm already alive. He he takes the bracelet off of you. But what about the set of bones by the camp? Would this work on them? He looks at both you and Don. Uh, the problem is, is that it, you need to be alive first to do it. I believe that you can use the power oh, yourself. I'm going to roll a sleight of hand for Don real quick. Okay. That's, let me roll for Z all on perception. Oh, no. Z all beats it. What are you doing over there? As uh, Don... Uh, was trying to hide his bracelet off of him. Uh, and Don's going to respond, Oh, I'm just getting a little hot in here. And he kind of like <laughs> uh, tugs his uh, collar. You know, being uh, in the room with a big dragon that can kill me. A little hot. And uh, he's going to roll deception. Okay, that's not too good, but let's see what uh, insight gives Z all. Holy shit, he fucking beat Z all by one point. Okay, all right, single nugget, back to you. He uh, Z all believes him. Z all's looking at him. Or looking back at you. There's a good chance that you'll be able to use the power yourself if you were to eat it as obviously your partner cannot you could always choose to have either mine or dawn's it's entirely up to choice uh, dawn stops you uh actually uh how since he was uh kind of melted i actually ate mine to use on him it's only like a one go thing though so I could eat that one and go to the dragon and uh <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Z just from their uh relationship Z all does not trust Don too much so Z all you know, is not gonna let him make that call but Z all does believe you guys right now I'm pulling uh like ZL can't see it, but I'm feeling a pain face towards uh, <laughs> Dawn right Dawn. now. Okay. Alright, so... You say if I eat this, I could use its power? And how do I know it's not something that would hurt me? Uh, well, since it was so useful to me, I, and you are the same as me, sort of, I guess, considering we're both affected by the same stuff, it'll probably work the same. Uh, Zial lurches his head close to you. Do not compare yourself to me. I don't know to call you a gnome anymore. And then he lurches his he head back up. Hmm. Uh, Zial is making an arcana check on this thing. This is... 
some powerful magic. It does look like it could be used to do something like that. I'm just not for certain. I would like to... You know what? He, uh, he throws the bracelet to Don. Go ahead and eat it. And I trust you. Damn it. I think about just, just silently in his mind. In his mind, he says, damn it. Damn it. Um. Uh, Don. <laughs> is like, ah. Uh, single? Like, he's like looking at you, single. Uh, wouldn't it be a bit useless on people as weak as us? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you caught Dizzy All's attention with that. Oh, he did bring back you. What? I wonder if he would be able to bring back a dragon. If it depended on its user, that might be a waste of magic. Yes, you see, you've seen that my skin is slightly different. Oh, okay. Yeah, Zial, Zial's still looking at you. He's listening. That is a side effect from him bringing me back. In other words, he didn't do it 100% uh, correctly. He actually failed slightly. And Don's just like nodding his head up and down. And I'm going to have to ask you to roll one more deception check. And I am going to give you advantage again because uh, you kind of like played at the dragon's ego. Holy fucking shit. You ain't even got to roll again. Should I roll again anyway? No, no you don't. No. <laughs> you can't beat no. that. Uh, no. Fucking Sam just got a nat 20. All right. Uh, uh, I just wanted to see what happened. Yeah, all right, and as uh, as you say that, Zial just starts uh, nodding up and down, and Zial takes the bracelet back from Don, and uh, his tongue kind of stretches out, it places it on his tongue, and he uh, he starts to swallow it. And uh, as this is happening, you guys oh, GG. get blinded by this green light, and uh, Lorcran, you just see this green light just appear. Uh... Yeah, even Baloney, uh, Loyal, or Baloney, Hideki, and Mimi, while you guys are on the tree out there, you see back at the tower a bright green light shine. <laughs> and, uh... Green lantern? See all, uh, gone. You guys see a br the bracelet with... And then, uh, in it, the middle bead is now glowing green. You guys now have immunity to poison damage as a party. Oh, is Zial dead? The dragon actually just disappeared. Yeah, Zial's gone. Oh, don't come around the corner. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just hug, just hug, just hug Nugget. Oh my God! In the praise of the Pharaoh. <laughs> Wait, uh, all right. Is this tower? I'm, it's I'm going to go back to. It, why you guys are celebrating? I'm going back to uh, Baloney, Hideki, and Mimi. Yay! All right. What do you Man, that was like one of the tightest hugs you ever seen Gavel do. <laughs> he literally picked him up. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Uh, uh, Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> I assume we're following Baloney. I should Very understandable. As, as they lead, but as he leads way back to the big ass tree. Actually, shouldn't we go regroup since we saw the yeah, green light and we can assume that it was check. successful? Yeah, my so characters do that. I, I, think... I would like. To, I would. I would like to go back and check, like whether. I think we should get a or bad. See, like since we... the dynamite dynamite didn't blow, like it it wasn't that. I say well, we get the map can... before we regroup personally. <laughs> well, we still know the way anyway. I think it'd be better if we had everyone together again personally. 
So uh, is, it, is it two on one against uh, or for regrouping? Yes. Hideki, it's two on one. Are you going to go by yourself? Or are you going to um, go with them? Nah, I'll go by, by myself to get the map. Okay, just remember, like I said, if you if you go by yourself, I'm going to ask you to roll a d20, <laughs> and then what <laughs> happens, happens. Fine, I'll go with the other two back to the party. Well, it would be interesting if you did the 20. All right, um, uh, Sam, or Single and Gavelt, you guys are in the room. I want you guys to, uh, or actually, you don't, you don't got to look. This uh, room is jam-packed full of, like, weird stuff. Some of it looks valuable. Gavelt's still holding on to Nugget. Lorcan oh. runs up to the top. Well, of the nat- you are a natural charmer. <laughs> Like, like, see him just put it. See him just put it. Lorcan right doesn't know about this. Why is Lorcan running on top of? I saw the light. Did he run up oh there? I guess he ran up well, there pretty while fast. He's, I mean. While he's running up there, do you guys want to make a uh, investigation check for anything? Okay, Gavelt puts down a nugget. Sorry about that. That's that was not not of my character. Back to focus. Uh, <laughs> see him look over at. See him look over at Don. I knew there was more to you. I knew there were. I knew I had. I knew I. Too important. I knew I was right to keep faith in you. I knew it. Hey, uh, just so y'all know, I didn't stick this dynamite in here for nothing. I'm still gonna blow this bitch up. Right. Uh, see, look at all this stuff. I'm normally against. I'm normally against raiding and mining, but I think I'll take this. As an exception, start making these checks. All right, investigation check for you and uh, the single nugget. Yeah, and he got nine. All right. I'm plus six. Um, okay. And I'm gonna have to look up something real quick. I'm hot. Twenty-one modified. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up something real quick. Oh. So... Let me see here. I gotta find the table of contents and look for that treasure again. I mean, Nugget got the weird look. Did Gabel just hug me? <laughs> Is Gabel happy? All right. Yeah, he's like, I'm totally fine with it. We're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that tower expecting myself to Be basically like sacrifice myself to a dragon. Whew. I mean, Gavelt just lit up a thousand and I managed times. To basically, talk it into doing it. He's a natural. He's a natural charmer. Actually, no. Let me continue being Gavelt. You know, mm-hmm. you see, I'm just looking through the stuff. You know, maybe we should. Maybe it might be a great idea to keep you as a tree. It might might actually help us. You might have a lot of good luck. Good luck greenery in you. Yes. All right, just, Never mind. Uh, Never mind. You're not staying like that forever. I'm going to change you back eventually. Searching up this uh, table real quick. All right. Where's my D100? Oh. Um, okay. All right. that here or... meanwhile with Lorcan going yeah, through sorry, the Kingdom the Hearts 2 intro <laughs> meanwhile Lorcan going through the Kingdom Hearts 2 intro seeing Sora Sora, Sora oh, is Lorcan all them stairs he said sorry he's taking it so long um <laughs> all right let me go back to the oh god Go back to the thing. So I need an art. I'm gonna roll a ten. Five. All right, you get a um, you get an amber um. Uh, it's transparent, a watery gold. A uh, single nugget. It's like a little stone, amber. 
and Gavelt, let me roll for you. Do you eat it? You got a really good roll <laughs> on that. Ooh, okay. Um, actually, it would be over here. All right, yeah. Okay, um, a D8, let me see here, well, there went that dice, you get a gold cup set with, uh, emeralds adorning it, uh, Gavelt. Amazing. <laughs> staring at this thing it's a it's about like a you know like a mug it's like mug uh -huh. size but it's it's a little like um oh fuck um cup like it's it's like okay. holy grail-esque looking with emeralds in it uh-huh you find that am i up there yet um yeah i'll say i'll say you get up there can i uh can I roll an investigation check? You can, but it's not going to be as good. This this was a sit reward for people that went up there. Alright, that's fun. Okay. So you go to ass. Hmm. Do we have to blow this place up? Look at it, dog. Yeah, I'll do. I mean, not with us in it, but I would like to. If the direct, you know, maybe we could turn this place into a shelter, a base of operation. After all, I get the feeling if any of us die, oh. even Tide would like even Tide. We could convince him to turn. Uh, he not twenty in the wrong chat. <laughs> he did not twenty. Oh, wrong chat. God, I'm twenty-four. Even you should have went up. See, no. It might not be a good thing, but it's going to be a really good anyway. Somehow. <laughs> Let me see. Um, see Gavel, you see Gavel looking at uh, Don. What's the look on his face when Gavel suggests that idea? Yeah, because Gavel's about to change his mind. Like, mm, never mind. We'll probably just blow this place up. Uh, the D12. Uh, Don's been like roughing it in the wilderness, so he he doesn't care. Oh, he just looks like he's just looking at Don. Mm, never uh, mind. You, we'll you just get a, uh, a little stone. It's an onyx, and it's uh, got bands of black and white. <laughs> Uh, they kind of like zebra uh, stone, kind of like a zebra colored stone. Uh, Are there any weapons up there? I mean, we like okay. we. That's just that's just what I rolled for treasure. Or yeah, we, we would just have to. Okay, never mind. Yeah, then. like I was just I was just rolling for treasure. Anyway, okay. uh, so you can go put this mug, I guess, in this robe that's like a freaking zero space and just fit this crap in Actually, here. Actually, um, uh, since you guys did do that, I'm going to give you something else. All of you roll me an investigation check. As in everybody? Uh, or The three people up there. Yeah. All right, so. Oh! Blimey, you're Zero in the bro. wrong no. chat room. To be well, fair, I yeah, almost start running as whenever well. I hear loot as well. Then oh, wrong, wrong room. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-one again. I'll go to the next All one. Right. No, Damn, it's, it's Lord Crane! It's fine. I'm just I'm Lord Crane is literally like a treasure seeker. <laughs> oh God, Bloomy, you got twenty-three anyway. What you rolling again for? No, I'm not gonna roll again. I just said next time I roll, I'll roll in the. Damn, I'm not very good at looking for treasure. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look it up real quick. Okay. Um, God. 
Um, sorry about this, guys. Is Pidemi getting sunk with? Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> yes. But seriously, though, it's like Lord Crin heard loot. He runs up the stairs in at light speed. He walks through the doors, exactly. and just like that, he's exactly. already he seen. Wasn't, he wasn't there to hear that there's loot. Well, he just did, like, he, oh, dragons... I go there because there was a flash of light. Yeah, he assumed there was Not loot. because of the dragon. loot. The dragons, That's like, not like not any kind of move. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. And go up there and check uh, on you, stuff. You get the horseshoes of a Zephyr. What? The you get four horseshoes. Okay. Good if you have a horse, which we don't. I didn't know Zephyr had horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, you get uh you get four horseshoes, uh Bloomy. Okay. Uh, Lorcan. All right, and then uh, that that's like pretty much all you guys think you can get out of that place, at loot wise. Would you make us roll extra twenty four? <laughs> okay. Um, it's just because right, he had that's... the highest roll in the in the thing. Okay. Anyway. Um, mm. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, Gavelt. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you see him just like start walking out. Place that gold cup. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave. All right, yeah, you guys uh, make it to the bottom. Of the skeleton still kind of standing there. I might not have got treasure, but I got the fate. I uh, was the one that did it. Yeah. Uh, Don's like, eh, come on, we'll we'll save this. This will be a backup plan. We'll lure somebody in there. Uh, the skeleton like starts following, and uh, as as you guys are walking, uh, you. Guys are greeted by Hideki, Baloney, and Mimi Dank. Hello, friends. What's up? We're live. I can see you guys uh, did your job. Congrats. Well, it's like we had using about you're quite the charmer. <laughs> Pat and uh, a nugget. Now it's all about perhaps fixing him. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Her green is a very lucky color. What do you think this fucking glowing green uh, <coughs> bead does for us? The uh, the are, are the bracelets are still on the characters though. Yeah, yeah. All you guys have your bra uh, bracelets. Uh, single nugget yours fell, and I assume you picked it up after uh, Zial consumed it. Uh, yeah. Um, you see Gavelt just uh, looking at uh, Lorca when he asked that question. Um, <clears throat> I'll call, I'll 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 check it or I'll check it while we're on the move. But I'm assuming we haven't found the map yet. We haven't retraced our footsteps yet, have we? Looking at everybody, looking at the other group. We know where the tree is. While you guys were doing your thing, we uh, explored ahead, and Baloney over there actually knows the exact way to get back to the tree. Well, it's just like... Uh, like what's in thought? What he just shrugged shoulders. What? What What? what tree? Just follow us. Lead the way. Can Baloney catch... Baloney catches Dawn up real quick okay. about everything that happened. Alright, while you guys are walking, yeah, Baloney... Mm -hmm. Oh, so y'all pissed off the dragon, huh? That's not a, not us, just someone. Baldwin, dog. In our it's group. just and you, you can feel it just interrupts. It's all in the past now. See, um, can I make an Arcana check on this thing? He he just says that while looking at his bracelet. Uh oh, the the or even Todd explained to you guys that uh, if you guys got Z all to ingest the bracelet, it would give you immunity to poison breath, but it it's poison like. You guys have immunity to poison, po poison in general. Yeah, poison in general while wearing this bracelet. But uh, did Lorcan? So the Lorcan's question earlier: Does he mean like, does it do anything else? Because it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you it's have, just we still uh, have bracelets. You have four more empty spots on it. Yeah, that's sort of what I was implying to. I was like, is there anything else that we can do while we're here? Like, what, what else? Like, what can we do now? Like, well, like all we gotta do is kill four more dragons. 
Like, it doesn't even have to be dragons. Seeker belt. That was a joke. New Seeker belt. <laughs> An interest. Think about this. It's an interesting question. There's probably more things in his memories that were much more hey, below, formidable. You remember the black handle? We have to go to find the tree. Yeah, we're walking there right now. Yeah, y'all are walking, walking towards. Are we? Right now. Yeah. Are we all? Tree. Cause... Okay, I didn't realize we were all walking. Yeah, y'all are all walking. Anyway, uh, 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 repeat what Gavelt said. Yeah. Yeah, Can I be quest. like strutting? I don't want to be walking. I, I want to do like a, like a style of walk. <laughs> you, okay, role performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, we'll see how good this strut is. What if he gets a nap? Like one. What happens? <laughs> oh, Mimi Dang's going back to the fucking flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey. Oh, Mickey's being dumb. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, uh, it's an above average uh, <laughs> strut. Like you're, you're like okay. Uh, Mimi Dank knows how to dance a little bit. The feel from the strut. Um. So now we're not all just walking. <laughs> Yeah, you, well, guys, well, you guys are walking. Mimi, De uh, Mimi Dank is strutting. That wasn't and, uh, As you guys get closer to the tree, uh, you guys see some crocodiles, and they kind of swim off really quick. <laughs> I, I, I showed them the separated head I have with me. I go like, ar, ar. Uh, it actually I still... opens its mouth, and it's just keeping its mouth open. So are we yeah, on the side or and I've got like the river? I've got like three of their skins still like just hanging on me. <laughs> yeah, Can I, are we on the side where we don't have to cross the river, or do we still have? To... Uh, you you guys, uh, you guys have to cross the river, but the, the crocodiles they kind of like squirmed away. Okay, here we go. You see, Gavelt walk up, put his hand out to the water, start just. <laughs> Forming little twisted balls inside it, then all of a sudden a path, a frozen path, was just created again. Whoa! Let us continue. <clears throat> Gavel, when'd you learn how to do that? <laughs> you see, uh, you, you see, Gavel, I spent uh, quite a long time in a lonely, pl in a lonely place surrounded by water. Oh. You get used. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I actually enjoy. <laughs> I actually enjoyed swimming for a time. I mean, he's, he'd like smile when he said that. And, um, yeah, you guys walk across and uh, see the giant tree from before. And as you guys walk up to the tree, we're going to take another quick break. Yo, before... Um, oh, whatever. Is there something you wanted to do? Uh, I wanted to roll an Arcana check on that stone that I got. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Eleven. Eleven. Is fourteen. Fourteen. That's a fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. 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 It, it's just uh, jewelry. Yeah, I guess I might as well do one. Pretty, pretty valuable though. All right, I'll be back. Yes, Sam Wait, gets is the, the most gator out of head this, um... still alive? Yeah, the gator head's still alive. Toucan, would we have How that? pretty is my stone? Uh, it's it's really it's uh really valuable, like uh Lorcrans, but it's not magical. Um, that's why I said how pretty is oh, it? Oh, how pretty is it? Um, it's it's it's. It's probably the well, best like, best stone you've ever had, or maybe even seen single nugget in your life. Yeah, so it's not like some dirty one that oh, I just picked no. up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, no, this thing, okay. this belongs like on a Con crown, uh, single nugget. Congratulations on killing a dragon! You got a pretty stone. Well, you guys, you guys got a kick-ass <laughs> ability. You didn't really kill it. You didn't yeah, trick it. I know, it, I know, I know. You got something that may end up like 
benefiting us in the longest of the longest yeah. of the run later. Except like Bot, Bot gonna be like, all right, I will suck all of y'all off. You give me that freaking gu- that freaking go cup the belt. I swear. How about no? But uh, it's like Fallout. Some though, extra like, things on the list would be in mind. You can kill everything in Fallout, or you can just talk them out, and that's what I did somehow. Through the power of overpower. No, we're, letting, yeah, we're letting you talk to the yeah. next Death Knight or whatever we fight. We're just gonna let you talk it all out. I was just hoping that, like, like fucking, uh, you guys would not get all killed by the dragon again. Like, like, here's the thing. You, Sam you, never roll you lot joked about throwing me at that dragon. And I went to the dragon. No. And it worked. Who joked about it? Last session when I kept Nat twentying and you were like, yeah, oh, "Oh my yeah, god, I'm just gonna throw you at the dragon." And single action. I mean, like... for real. I mean, for real. Half the other party's kind of like, I don't know, dicks. So like, okay, we'll just feed Gavel to it. It's always immediately Gavel. We're like, okay. Gavel's like, you know what? Fine, I'm going up this thing. Well, I was trying to get Don go up there, but you were like, "Fuck no, I'm going there." Yeah, so I was like, the, okay, but yeah, but then the okay, character, but then I was the like, okay, thought about your it. And then the character thought about it. I'm like, well, Don does have to go, so you are right. <laughs> he does have to go because you know the dragon. He has a relationship with the dragon, so you do make a point, Dorf. Rolls his eyes to that though, like, yeah, he makes a point, but still. <laughs> no, right, to go yeah. Would would me, Maloney, and uh, Mimi have? Encounter anything that would have killed us if we kept going? You don't like know. by ourselves? You don't know. I don't, well, think, I mean, I don't think it would have killed you, to be honest. I, th- I think it would have. I think well, it would have like created a whole other interesting part world. of this adventure. Well, I'm just saying. And, and people have and people have been killed right after they've been like separated from the party. Yeah, so, but we made progress for nothing. Like we made it and then we went back. It was. It, it, look, we, you should have. I would have went. I would have agreed with you know. I find it ironic that Hideki agreed with what Gavelt was trying to say. No matter what happens, you keep going and find the map and stuff. But of course, Baloney Crisis doesn't ever want to listen because he's whatever. And then I don't know where. And then there's. I'm surprised at Hideki though. I'm surprised. That's all I'm saying. My point in saying that, Vega, was that you have your character tell our characters what to do all the time instead of giving a suggestion like, hey, could you, do you think this would be a good idea if we did this? You don't present it in a very considerate manner. You do it like you're the boss and you're trying to make us do something. I mean, he does suggest. That's just how he is. But anyway, <clears throat> it's like, what well, other ideas, though? What other ideas do you have? You know, we don't have to listen to, oh, wow, then common sense would be in the character, I hope. I mean, like, what other ideas do you have? I'm not going to argue this with you because you're just not going to listen to anything I have to say, so. I do. Li- I'm listening to you right now, but whatever. This is why I don't talk to you anymore either. Because you don't listen to me either. Well... I disappear for five seconds. I hope the viewers have enjoyed the (laughs) the episode so far. The episode's been pretty good. It's just whatever. Did you guys know Miss America ended the swimsuit competition? You know what's... I I actually did not. The more you know. The more you know, Father. Yeah, I know. And that uh, uh, they released the uh, teaser poster for the new Wonder Woman movie. Very exciting. Oh, yeah, it's gonna and be. There was a new. There was a new trailer for the Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh, and a new trailer for the new Transformers movie. They're oh, making that's... another one. Yeah, they're making a Bumblebee spinoff. Exciting. Uh, just it... stop it. Is it? <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> you follow what? Follow the same thing. Uh, like, is it really? It's like, the, it's like the Pokemon games. Like, why are you keeping uh, it up? Like, you have what? Pause. 
Nah, I mean, they, they used to be good, but now it's like, no. Speaking of Pokemon, make sure to tune in to Toucan's Nuzlocke. Yep, I might be playing yellow, like, ooh, oh, never mind, I gotta cut the grass. It's in, like, uh, seven hours? So, I will not be playing yellow later tonight, but I will be playing it tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. What do you mean, cutting the grass? That's gonna take, like, 15 minutes, man. Oh, no, it ain't. Or do you have, like, a... Yeah, it's a, it's a oh. decent... How big of a yard do you have? Like, follow it. I'm just saying, it's a decent amount of work I got to do. He's out not there. giving you that information. Follow that's private. He uh, well, I mean... he cuts it a blade of grass at a time. And I, no, I'm and I'm too. Yeah, he uses to, like, scissors. Pay someone to do it too, which I probably yeah, should do though. He, he needs to make sure that it's all the perfect height. So he uses like hair cutting scissors. You. I don't know. I think he might use like a like a razor, and he like How shaves much? the shaves the grass. How much longer of a break do we have? I don't know. I don't oh know. yeah, that makes much more sense. See, he right uses right? one of those really small razors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, the got, map is where the, uh, grass, Jamie. All right, yeah. Everybody, make an investigation check. You guys oh, are... they made oh, it to okay. the tree. Yeah, you guys are around the tree. <sighs> yes. Uh, just curious, is investigation based on anything? Based on any of the stats? Intelligence. It's like intelligence. So if oh. my intelligence is plus one now, temporarily, does that mean I have plus one in investigation? Yes. yes. No. I, I, no. What? I have zero. Yeah, because you're you got a plus one from a negative modifier, so yours is zero yeah. instead of negative one. No, but but shouldn't Sam have then plus two? No, because... I know because I I started with ten and then it goes to I went to 13. I think 13. thirteen and that's yeah, just did. plus one. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. This is cool. What does this quote follow for 12, 12 a.m.? We satisfied his mother, Vega. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and that quote did matter. Because uh, was, right, yeah. was right about that, too. Yeah, he was. I'm going to roll for Don uh, to help you guys out. Because you guys are looking. And it's it's, it's not coming out. And okay. Not, not the worst. Guys, I've no, yeah, I've noticed if I'm not in danger... I do terrible rolls. <laughs> There's got to be something on the line for single nuggets to come through. Well, it's like if if I'm not doing damage, I have terrible rolls. <laughs> uh, yeah, with Don's help, uh, you guys are able to find uh, the map uh, and Baldwin's poison corpse. Ooh. <laughs> Do we need to like get the poison slash acid off of this map? Um, yeah. No, because we're immune. I mean, yeah. We're not immune like, to we're not immune guys, acid damage, yeah, but we're immune to poison damage. It's it's poison, so you guys are good actually. So yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, who wants okay, to pick it up? Okay, I would so, say okay. uh, Lorcrin, you and Don would be the first people there to see it. Did you get the highest uh, uh, I will not take it. Okay, I, I guess uh, Don will pick it up. Hey, uh, Baloney, here's here's that map you were looking for. He hands it to you, Baloney. Does it, when it stay it. poisoned? Huh? So I'm wondering if it will stay poisoned. <laughs> you know, anyway. if some other human character that we don't exactly like appears, <laughs> we can get them to look at the map. <laughs> This means they're on like the mid section of the tree, or are they on ground level? No, y'all are on ground level. Okay. All right, so uh, just look up. that was an impressive fall. Uh, Don actually notices. Hey, is that glowing? You see one spot on the map glowing, and the little light is like jetting straight up. Uh, baloney. So what let you... the climbing begin. Like, what do you mean jetting straight up? 
Yeah. He put it in his pocket too, Ken. So was it like this? Just pointing it was like a laser there's pointer like coming a, out of Yeah, his there's body. like a little laser pointer like going up toward the tree. So we can I him? start climbing up the tree? You, 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 did he pull it out of his pocket? That's the question. Oh, Gavel or not Gavel, Baloney? Yeah. Okay, so when he pulled out of his pocket, where is it pointing? It's just pointing straight up. Straight up. Yep. Up at a tree or just up I, at the sky? The, it looks can like I, the tree and sky because the tree's so big. Can I start climbing up the tree? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. that's where we were uh, we were going there, yeah. like originally. Yeah, the as, you, came. as you start climbing, Don's like, hold on, hold on. Uh, Mimi, hold on. I got something. Watch this. And then Don looks over at the skeleton. What do you guys want exactly? That's up there. There's an artifact that we need to access the temple that's on the other side of this island, I believe. Yeah, uh, look for anything that's not like tree uh, or part of a tree. Go up there. Uh, what? Uh, Dawn, you aren't thinking of trying to blow up this tree, are you? Uh, no, the skeleton starts climbing. Uh, okay. uh, don't worry, he'll be back. He listens to everything I say. Can I can I try can I try to make it before him? Uh yeah, you can roll an athletics check. I shall roll for the skeleton too. Speaking of tree. Okay, uh, the skeleton's going kinda slow. <laughs> okay, oh, Mimi's so... going kinda slow. <laughs> Lucky. Um the skeleton's oh, trying oh, to climb, hell? but Mimi's like in front of him. <laughs> One off. And the skeleton front. can't like climb in front of him. Or you can't get him in front of him. How much time is this supposed to take? Mm -hmm. Looking at Don. Can uh, I try again? How long did you guys climb before? I haven't climbed that thing. That's a pretty big tree. Never mind. Oh dear. Can I try again? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Try again. <laughs> uh, I guess. I uh, throw rocks at them. The skeleton's still climbing. Oh uh, yeah, you, you're so oh, you're so better. Uh, I'm gonna say like you, you're seeing that you're seeing that same thing. Single nugget, uh, just kind of like grabs on the skeleton and the skeleton's still climbing. And then like the skeleton gets like uh a few feet in the air behind uh, Mimi, and you you just kind of see like the skeleton's head pop off. And uh, single nugget falls to the ground with the skeleton's head. Uh, what the hell happened? And the body, I, the skeleton body, is still climbing. I passed the head to Dawn. Uh. <laughs> uh. Why yeah. didn't you uh, give I mean, the skeleton? The why didn't you give the skeleton directions? The, the skeleton just like nods its head up and down. Okay, I guess he's good. Um, and yeah, eventually, uh, Mimi, you and uh, the skeleton, the headless skeleton, arrive at the top of this big ass tree, and you find. Let me bring. Let me see if I can find this thing thing. Uh, yes, that that is fine, uh, guys. Uh, Baloney's having. Some more connection issues, so he transfers the map over to Hideki. What's up? Yeah. And you guys find this. Let me bring <gasps> it up on the stream. It's a little, like, stone artifact. And let me put it up in the maps uh, section. And I will try to find it. D and D. Oh god, I gotta find out where the heck I put the D and D pictures now since I added uh, two hard drives. Is it not in there? No. Nope. Um. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, I uploaded it. 
and you guys see that. 10 out of 10 artistic work. Oh, spicy. All right, yeah, and it's kind of just a uh, just a circle. And Hard layman you know, group. Like, yeah, yeah a stone circle yeah. with this blue-looking creature reaching in for a uh, smaller circle. That's, and it looks like something... Oh, that, that's, uh, that's Swamp Earth. Did they come down? Yeah, Did they come down? Did they come yeah, down with a... it? That's just what Mimi uh, sees right now. So did they man group. Uh, so give, give him a chance to come down. <laughs> okay, okay, so... You see that? Okay. That's just what you find. Okay, that's uh, what Mimi. they find. Or what well, Mimi and the skeleton. Mm -hmm. Does he have to athletics on the way down? Uh, do you give it to the skeleton? The skeleton's sitting there with its arms open, uh, Mimi. Wait, what? The skeleton is sit standing like where you guys found it. He's uh, standing there with his arms open. He wants the artifact. Yeah, okay. I I give it to the skeleton. All right, you give it to the skeleton. The skeleton jumps down. And then, oh, what? Uh, and, we, uh, you aren't going to roll for falling on top of us, are you? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you guys just see a skeleton like hitting branches and a bunch of pieces fall and this artifact falls in front of Don. So so hey, I, I he guess he good job. didn't do a hero landing? He uh he, no, he looks at the skeleton, he's like good job and the skeleton like kinda like shakes his head. And then you guys see the skeleton start shaking and it appears uh back together. Oh. The bones like levitate kinda off the ground and just like float back into place. All right, I found the artifact, uh, Mr. Zervin. Can I see it? Uh, yeah, he throws it to you. Uh, Mimi, I Is guess it? you're you're gonna climb down. Yeah. Uh, roll me an athletics check. <laughs> you know oh, I'm course. doing this just so you're not one. I mean, he would have like asked me to anyways because it's mm -hmm. it's D and D. And I was well, reminding him. Not in that one. Oh, guys, let me roll uh, for this real quick. Okay, yeah. Um, Mimi Dank, you you get a you get a considerable amount of the way down, and uh, you uh, start to fall. I need you to make me a dex saving throw. Can I, uh, if, if Gavel can see that, can you cast Featherfall to, like, soften him? He'd be too high right now. Oh, okay, just let me know when I when he can, because he would. Wait, so I'm going to do a what save that now? De dexterity save throw. Mm -hmm. For me. Dexterity? So, yeah. I guess I can get advantage, like, from my danger, danger sense. No, because it wasn't a trap or nothing. It's just you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You were having trouble climbing. Well, 16. sixteen. Okay, yeah, yeah. You grab uh, as soon as you start to fall. You fall a little bit. Grab a vine, and you start sliding down. Um, make a constitution, uh, constitution check for me. That should be better. So that's just my constitution modifier. Yes. 18. And eighteen. Okay, yeah. You you feel your hands getting a little hot from sliding down this vine, but uh, it's good. And then you get close enough to where you can just jump off, and you you feel like you'd be safe to just let go of the vine and land on the ground. Yeah, I do the um the tar Tarzan yell and okay. uh, and do that. All right, mm -hmm. row performance. Maybe. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> No. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Why, why did wow. why do I roll these for these goddamn things and not for the goddamn climbing? All right. Wow. You gotta see Mimi Dank holding on to a vine, like kind of sliding and swinging, and he's like, "Uh, what the? F uh, all right, do your Tarzan, or right, Mimi." Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? <laughs> As he jumps and lands right in front of you, or the party. The skeleton uh, uh, starts clapping. Sing yeah, single applause as well. <laughs> Devel just claps his hands like slowly. 
like. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he, he just like. <laughs> yeah, you guys have found your first artifact. Ah. <sighs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. about looking. Think about looking at this thing. Do we still have the others? Such as like East. Everyone's looking at everybody else. We still have. No, you guys do not have the other three. <laughs> So I guess somebody would answer no. Well, I, I don't know if they knew or not. That's um, what I'm saying. Like, what? you guys do not have the other three. Baldwin had them. You, you guys I mean, know where his corpse is. They were different well. Yeah, you, you seek about... Where do you think the others are? Looking at everybody else while he's holding on to this thing. I mean, shouldn't they be on Baldwin's body as well? A Mimi Dank brain blast. That is, uh, Don's like, points him, yep. If, uh, he had him when he died, you, you guys can check his pockets. Oh, you know what? I'm getting my hands dirty today. I might as well. Uh, he goes over there, and yeah, as he does, you guys see the, uh, three, Are we... three uh, uh, artifacts that Baldwin had, uh, come out the piece with the little like uh, it looks like a female on it uh, the piece with it looks like gold is on it inside of a triangle and the piece that looks there, like if we scrolled up all you gotta do is scroll up and I think you already put the pictures yeah. in there. yeah I'm, uh -huh. I'm putting them on the uh, I'm putting them on the stream too and you guys okay. uh, have all that um I need, re I need help recapping. In total, we need how many artifacts? Like looking at Hideki or somebody smart. We need how many? Three. So we have One. all three. Right? Or we don't. You guys have four no, in total. I'm pretty sure there was two sets of three we were supposed to get, right? Uh... Yes, uh, Lorcan would be right. I'm saying we need three the party. more that we already have. So we have three, and we need three more. This no, makes... we have four. We need two more. Well, before this one, I'm saying. Oh. Okay. So the party right now has four, and they need two more. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, so. Well, let's start brainstorming where what do you where where or how that's the best next question we should check the map see we have a hand gesture to baloney they give it to me just pull off the map oh uh hideki's got hideki it right has it yeah oh my bad yeah hideki just wait what did you ask he just get Gavel just gives a hand gesture like for Hideki to just pull out the map and look at it. All right, you guys want to pull out the map? Let me bring it up. Map out. Mm. Yeah, you guys are in uh, the far right X. So there's one you could go south, or there's one you could go up north uh, to the west. So our current position, I'm just going way back up. Um, we're probably what in the middle of the. Uh... Okay, where are we on this map? <laughs> the east side, at the X on the east side. That's where you guys are at. That's where the big tree it was. The X. Uh, that's the furthest northeast. Yes. I say we travel south. That's that's an extremely far distance. <laughs> that's really far. That's something. I say we yeah, go south too. We can go south and make our way back. Yeah. Let's the get the farthest one over there. Come back to this place. Yeah. You uh, really want to try? Don, uh, Don's like, that's cool with me. If we got to go get both of them, you know, we're going to have to go there eventually, right? Say about some longer distance, but I see no reason to object. It, judging by the way this map looks, uh, geography and geography and logical lines are taking an estimated probably three days, maybe two by foot. 
Hideki looks at Don. Are you actually going to stay with the party this time? But yeah. I was I was with you guys I thought last time. But I uh you know I got I got here and I was just in the middle of the ocean. So I had to I had to raid a boat. Oh. And this was the closest island. What time of day does it look right now? Uh it's it's the middle of the day. How much? I mean, okay. Um, should I make a nature nature check to see if like Evel can look at this fight they have left at all? Um, yeah, go ahead. Or make a survival, it. not not nature survival. Actually, nature. that is. That's a lower modifier, I think. Too many darn taps open. Plus two. We don't have any rangers. Well, we do. But anyway, eighteen. Eighteen. No. Uh, you. You suspect that there's probably like eight more hours of daylight left before it starts, uh, uh, the sun starts setting. No, uh, good. Uh, looks at everybody else. Well, let's keep moving forward. The sun will not last forever. We have a certain amount of dusk approaches. I agree. Let's keep moving. Uh, before we go, though. Can we make Baldrin a grave and not kind of like just leave his dead body by a tree? Look about size. Look about size, but I actually agree to that notion. Right, we I'll... might be able to bring him back to life with a necromancer later down the line. We should wait. We should respect the dead. The last thing he had to come back to is a soulless, is a soul-filled life of slavery. Well, I mean, I can, I can dig a grave with my paddle. Yeah, I'll let you guys handle the grave. Like, you know, explain how you want it to be and, so, you know, whoever's digging it. Are making it. Well, I, I can, I can just with my paddle. Like it doesn't have blades, so it doesn't wear really. Gavel just you know, similar like how like Naruto did, or that not Naruto, but how Luffy does when he's about to go gear two, and you pretty much see that clay fist form. Wait, you how? See this large, how it's a spell. So there's a spell called uh, Maximilian's Earthly. It creates another hand, but it's an earth version of a hand. And how? Because if you're wondering, episodes of as in before we after ZL ordered everybody to like do whatever and go to the tree. Before we got to the tree, and Gavel was separated from the nature check to where he picked up some wet, I think it was some kind of mud. It was wet something, and he was folding it. Boy. He was folding it something. Wet clothes. So he had the prep for that spell episodes ago. Uh, I must have just not picked that up. Forgot about that. Anyway. I think, I think he fell asleep, but yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there's, that you see this you, you see this like huge amount of dirt on his hand, and you see this break off his break off his arm, and you just see this large Start digging, scooping into the ground and throwing dirt away. Guess I'm not using a paddle. All right, how deep do you want this uh, grave? How what? How deep do you want the grave? Hmm. The body yeah, about thirty feet. <laughs> oh, deep enough for him to fit in it. You know, like four feet. It's, it's you know, I mean, I can't, I can't cheat that. So no, I can't give him that can trip. No, my, my other character has mold earth. I'm gonna think about. I have to check that. Does he have mold earth? He mold earth. Anyway, yeah, now. I mean, it's it's digging. Like I'm just asking, how deep do you want it? Deep enough for him to go in it. 
10 features. Yeah. 10 features. So, so that he doesn't have like one leg outside. Why 10 features. Like four fun. feet. Four feet is fine. It isn't exactly respectful, but 10 feet, 10 feet should suffice. It shouldn't take six feet. Okay, about that. Well, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll help. Okay, 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 fine. So it'll, it'll, go go faster. Faster. it'll go faster. We can do the 10 feet. I'll, I'll help All right, you. Roll athletics. I mean, anybody else helping? <laughs> yeah, I'm helping. All right. The old, old yeah. famous athletics. Roll athletics. <laughs> yep. Now it's a three. <laughs> These are going just well, fucking fine. <laughs> Mimi, Mimi's just, you know, sad. Uh, I only got 13. And, and he's not helping. Uh, uh, Single Nugget's doing uh, pretty good. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah, Loyal, or uh, Hideki gets in there, and he uh, he's he's digging pretty quick. You guys manage to do this. It takes up about an hour of time. But you Look get at the, these you goddamn get the modifiers. And yeah, all... Fallu's not having a good day with those plus fives. I mean, Good oh. It's coming down the tree. Yeah, and with what modifiers? Like plus one, <laughs> like rolling eighteen, nineteen. That, that's what makes it funny, man. Like whenever uh, Mimi Dank brain blasts, I die. Like I'm like, oh my god, he's got negative one to intelligence. No, I know this though. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have the grave dug. Okay, graves dug. Gabelle is actually in a praying position. Just pray. Just he's just quiet. All right. Gabelle. Lorgren tosses uh, a Baldwin's body in the grave. All right. Lorgren. Mimi's a bit exhausted, so he's just having a snack. Yeah, uh, Mimi's having a snack. Lorgren, you uh, throw the body in there. Do you do it like respectfully or like nonchalantly? You just throw the body in there. No, I just, I just like. If you ever see someone like count uh, to like three while they're swinging someone, like two people doing it, but it was basically just me and I just fucking swung and tossed him in there. Okay, you guys see Lorcan like ready up and start swinging. Go help and just like throw like um. In the pit that y'all dug. <laughs> no. Can you just like lower him there? Wait. Too late. Yeah, he, it's he not. It's not like it, it's not like throwing a child into like like water. Like oh, it's a game. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what Lorcan did, I guess. Well, okay. Well, rip party again. Walk away from. Oh, me. I saw you throw that body like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get him in there. Anyway. Y'all cover him up or. Of course. Like fill the hole back. All right, so y'all fill the hole back up. Um, any kind of grave marker or anything you guys want to lay down for them? I take out a gold bar and set it, <laughs> and set it up the headstone. Oh. Oh. I, you see, you about just like pull the one he had out if you start. Who has it? Can you give it back to him before we do the same thing? Um, can can Hideki look for some like twigs to make like a impromptu like marker? Yeah. Lorcan Lorker takes the one Gavelt tries to put down and uh, stores it with others he has. Right, Lorcan takes it. Do you let this happen? Gavelt just looks for a minute. And just... Wait, what? Why? What? What's what is Lorcan doing? He Gavelt put the gold bar down as a marker too, and then Lorcan picked it up and put it in his pocket. We already put one down. It doesn't need a second one. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to. Probably. I don't mean, even know. I'm I'm over here like debating with Gavelt being even in the mindset to argue with him. It is more like. Put it this way, Logan. How about this is for compensation? More compensation for the mistake. No, I this mean, one... like, if the man has no, if the man has no respect, like, it's no use talking. I have respect. I, I get it. Like, it's that's why, that's well, why you, go, you, you got him killed, and then you stole you stole his gold. 
I stole there's it before no I got him. There's, there's no, yeah, there's no respect. Like, I'm sick of Bell. I under, I know he is my. Yeah, and the, you guys, uh, like Hideki, you get your twigs together and everything, and uh, make a little like uh, marker for him. And uh, no, you know what? <clears throat> right, the Bell isn't gonna fight. No. Well, just says to, uh, just, he just shakes his head. Just let him have, just let him have the bar. Let him have the bar. Can I, um, can Mimi pour, like, a bit of rum on the grave? Yeah, Mimi, you, you know, it, it, dwarf custom, he, Mimi's got to pour the rum on the grave. Give Bob one, oh. one, one to go. And uh, after he does that, you mind if I also put a special, uh, or a pinch of my special herb on there? Yeah, you, you, Lorcan can lay down a little bit of his herb on the on the uh, grave. And um, as you guys uh, sit, Baldwin to rest. Uh, where is the party wanting to go? Uh, I'd say that takes about two hours of time, so you guys still have six hours of daylight. So. Devout moves towards the direction where they were after he got done just saying what he may have said in his head and may have said out loud and just kept going. Let's continue. Wait, so he, he just sorry, buddy. Let's continue. Like, are we gonna head out into the forest when it's about to get dark, or should we settle down for the day? <clears throat> I think it'd be best to get as I think it'd be best to get as far as we can before it gets darker. Yeah, Gavelt said you uh, you guys got about six hours of daylight left since it took two hours to. Oh, six hours! Yeah, Barry, oh, I thought uh, yeah. Baldwin. Sorry, I I changed them up. I thought it was like two hours left. And okay. you guys, never mind. Going south, you could stop at the Cobalt Camp again. Let's do I it. Advise against it. I say we go south. See you, about Look at um, and uh, how he's looking. Is he? Should I make a check on that at all? Uh, wait on how who's looking. Nugget. Nugget. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, uh, I don't, I Discord don't, broke up for you. Uh, you can. I'm not sure. Uh, what check you're wanting to make? Are you trying to like look at his condition as like how long he's got or? Probably like what the well trying to determine is like while they're walking, he probably knows that that this direction leads back to the Cobalt Camp. But looking back at him, how much time do we actually have? So I'm trying to figure it out because he looks back. Yeah, because technically at this point, he has enough. It's on the clock. Uh, roll Arcana for me. Mm -hmm. 18. 19, you see um, toward uh, single nuggets legs, you see little like what looks like roots starting to poke out of his legs. Yeah, no, this okay, Bell just stops and look at Nugget. You see him just like, come here. He just, just gives us a hand gesture. And... No. He may not. You, you see him just pick up. You see him just pick up Nugget. Just, just, just go. Just trust me. Uh, sure. You, you just see Gavel. Oh, serious concern look. He says it is mine. Our time is really short. <clears throat> We're taking the long way first. All right. I don't know exactly. Oh, sorry. I don't know exactly how long we have. <clears throat> and when we went, and when we went to even ties, went back to normal. At this rate, I'm afraid he could be stuck here forever. Yeah. You know, you know, while holding on a nugget, while following everybody else. He says that is mine, not out loud. 
And, uh, None of the map. Okay. Go ahead. As you guys are uh, making your way to the south, I guess, uh, toward the Cobalt Camp, I'll let you guys decide whether you want to stop there or not next uh, next session. But I'm going to go ahead and close it if that's cool with you guys. Or does anyone yeah, want to yeah. do anything before, before we end off? Uh, I think. I mean, you already know what I want to, Ken. That booty. <laughs> um, loyal to answer your question, I'm gonna say you're gonna have to wait until you see him. God damn it! Because he, you guys know he is like looking into like other stuff right now too. <laughs> Sorry, I've yelled, but um, any uh, I go down the list like. Uh, Baloney, do you want to do anything before we close out? If your connections... No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Hideki, anything other than that? Um, are we at the Cobalt camp? No, you guys are walking toward there. I'm going to let you guys decide next session if you want to stop there or not. Uh, no, nothing. Just start next se next session unless you want us to start like while we're walking still then take a rest at the beginning of the episode which that could work as a break next episode i mean you Maybe. guys we could i mean you guys could like get there like if you guys want to go i could say you guys get to the cobalt camp and set up a camp if you guys would prefer that sure the cobalts went up complained about that uh they were ordered by the dragon to help you guys that's all they know but if that's dead okay well, I mean, just don't tell him it's dead. <laughs> like, that's what I would... Uh, I know. I know. I know. Gaming, but I would, you know, like... Of course not. I'm more, uh, you want me to bet a game? You want me to bet a game, too? Uh, I can bet a game. I'm like, oh, sure. We can go to the Cold Ball Camp. So, uh, how many NPCs? Guys, like, okay, can you want, you want to come with us? <laughs> All right. So, you guys are going to the Cold Ball Camp, and... Uh, I guess, do you guys want to rest the night and sit off in the morning again? Yes. Okay, alright. Um, Make it to the Cold Ball Camp, they rest. Alright, yeah. yeah. You guys, oh, uh, and uh, there's actually one thing Gavel does want to do that he needs to like, assist with. Make sure that um, yeah, it's a long rest. Make sure that um, Ed, I guess the, the Cobalt's could do this too, so we're roll for it. So that he, as in Nugget, does not touch the ground. Don't touch. Okay. So he's levitated above so, the ground. So you want to get Nugget a flower pot, kind of. A levitated bed of some kind. Sure. So the roots, so his feet don't touch the ground. I mean, I don't know how y'all going to get it to levitate. <laughs> not levitate. It's not Elevated, you can elevated. Wait, are we over with this end of the session? Uh, yeah, that's that's where we're gonna end the session. Like you guys get into the cobalt camp and resting. Uh, so, like, are we still playing right now, or are we done? No, we're we're well, we're we are. We're, yeah, I'm just letting you guys discuss what uh that uh that magic item I got if I. Put him on the bottom of his feet. Will it make him float, or uh, you don't know unless you try it. I guess you you don't know what those do though. Our Lorgren doesn't. Two guys got some serious world building to do, depending on what these. Um. Yeah, Falu. I guess Gavel could piggyback him <laughs> all everywhere, but I mean, for now, since they're like order the cobalt. Can we just have this established? The cobalts are ordered to just make a bed that is elevated, so he's not directly touching the ground. Okay, so you don't want him to touch the ground while he's resting. Well, well what, what did you say? You don't want him to touch the ground <laughs> while he's resting. Wrap him up. Get oh, My shit. next session would be just very short sure if I fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, just not too high to where he just fall and like break his bone or. Yeah. Just keep yeah, him elevated. Yeah, you just don't want him near the dirt. I get it. 
yeah, they can, they, they, I'll say they can do that. Uh, Mimi Dank, you, you doing anything? <laughs> oh, no. They're talking about purposely falling asleep on the ground. <laughs> oh. The... Okay, yeah. Well, I'll say oh, you guys are getting kind of... some food, too. Like, eating and oh. resting. Uh, single nugget, you guys anything are... you want to do? Well, I don't know. I guess... I guess I can notice by now what's actually happening to me. Since my character isn't that stupid. <laughs> so he's going to think... He's basically well in between sessions he's just going to think about what uh, mother told him about basically sleeping for ages yeah oh so are you not going to go to sleep yeah um i didn't get damaged at all and i'm probably a bit excited about that dragon thing. Okay, so kind of think about putting it on the night. He could be up in the middle of the night. He just meditates, but if he like hears something or wakes up in the middle of the night, has a nightmare, or whatever, you could do a midnight scene because there's no way Gavel isn't going to like want to talk to Nugget about this as to what to do. Because technically, if you turn into this tree, your soul may not. You may not ever be able to come back ever. Because technically, when you went to Eventide's place, you were still a tree. You're still a. So, unless the goddess herself decides to reverse you, which is possible, you could be stuck like this forever. Never move. Yeah. But that's a, that's a role play ish conversation, unless we're doing that right now, blah, blah, blah. But anyway. All right. Yeah. Uh, Lorcrin, is there anything you want to do? Um, no. Okay. All right. So, single, are you staying up or are you going to sleep? Don't worry about that dice roll if I picked up on the mic. I just accidentally hit that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll probably just stay up. Okay. Uh. You will take exhaustion, a point of exhaustion, if you do stay up, though. That's going to give you disadvantage on some checks. Might be the okay, best. Okay, okay, I'll sleep. No, no, I mean, you really don't need any more disadvantage. That might be the well, well, if he, well, too, can. If he doesn't sleep, doesn't that mean he doesn't grow as fast? I mean, you guys don't know. I mean, the whole thing was about, was it nutrients? So technically, if there was some way of giving me nutrients... Well, then I wouldn't have to sleep. You don't have to since you're a plant, that's true, but it depends on are you the type of plant that, are you a sun plant or a moon plant? Technically, some plants are both, where you can get your energy mostly from the sun or you can get your energy from the moon. And on your own recently, but if you lack rest in general, do you grow as fast? That is a game logic question for Toucan, which we're not going to get the answer from, but that is something you consider. It could be your growth rate could be sold down if you don't sleep, but I don't know. You get the luckiest rolls in the game anyway, so even if you <laughs> do have this disadvantage, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you get the best rolls in the game. There's no way you are being suicided because you have the entire fucking party with you right now, unless something happens. But, uh, yeah, it's that's about, where, that's where I'll but it's a, for today. But it's about, but it's about, like, is it suicidal to continue on? Where in like maybe next episode or two, two can's probably not going to do that, but he should. But in the next episode or two, you turn into a fucking tree, then we have to like sort of start make the character how to deal with you because, like, well, technically, we could just kill him and turn him on fire, and then what? And you seek about, and then what? You just come back the same thing, if not more, and be eternally part of life forever, which may not be such a bad way to die compared to what may be in store for the rest of us. All right, um. Thank you guys for playing with me, and uh, th thank you guys for stopping by, or if you're catching this video on YouTube, uh, watching, uh, I really appreciate you guys. I'm glad we I had fun.
Hopefully you guys have fun <laughs> convincing the dragon to, to become your Yo, we convinced that dragon in the name. And shout out the little check. Shout out the Bloomy. Too bad you couldn't be here, bro. But you know, you know the fat lizard. We know the fat lizard's always with us. Wait, Bloomy's here. Out the little check. No, not Bloomy. Uh, Schlubs. Uh. It is Schlubs. Yeah. Yeah, Bloomy's here. But yeah, shout out the little check. Schlubs.